All right. Test, test. One, two, three, test. Hope I'm coming through very nice and clear and my equipment's not trying to rug me because that happens occasionally. Just uh, chill for a second so I get some notes and stuff together. Let's see what's going on in the world. Hey, there he is. You know, how are you, bro? What up? How are we, mate? Oh, is that it? Good, I'm good. It's I'm good. I, I showed up on time for once. How are you, Alex? <laughs> I'm good, mate. I'm good. So, just getting getting my bits and pieces together. All done is in the house. Shakespeare, Shakespeare, thanks for dropping in, buddy. So just uh, and we are brother? Dino. How are you, Dino? How are you, mate? What's up, fellas? How are we doing? I'm good. Just eating a late dinner. How you guys doing? Yeah, good mate. So just uh, get get my few bits and pieces together. Just while we wait for a few people to roll in. So we got Hinano, we got Shangsta. So thanks for joining join me, guys. Well, there's four of us, so we might as, well, might as well kick this off with a little bit of a trusty intro music. Let's go. All right. Okay, everybody. Osman Collect 63 here, and we're back with another episode of Web V Wednesdays. We're up to episode number 36. So we're, we're powering along to our 40th episode. Wow, so it's going to be upon us before we know it. But I, not only is it just myself here, I'm joined by my trusty co host, the one, the only Mr. When Nintendo, say uh, Tony Stark stand in, say Mr. Dino Me Vita VP. How are you, mate? Doing great. Episode thirty-six. That's like nine months. So I know. I I, I can't wrap my. I sometimes can't wrap my brain around it. <laughs> yeah, and not missing a week. So that's just nine months straight. So I know. It's crazy to think about. And the best part is people keep coming back. <laughs> yeah, we made a lot of friends through this, and a lot has changed in nine months. But mm. some things have stayed the same as well, and. I, uh, yeah, I mean, it's been a pleasure getting to know you guys on a deeper level for sure. Yeah, definitely. Same here with you, Yanano D. Thanks for dropping in and say, thanks to, and everybody else in this, uh, this amazing community. We've, yeah, we've had like a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, different characters come through our doors over the, over the, the 36 episodes. And we've had a lot of different topics of discussions. A lot of things happen in Vivi and the rest of the, uh, the, uh, the, the digital collecting space and all sorts of stuff. And we're just getting started, no, guys. We're still just going. getting started. We're going. And I know that uh, that teaser looks amazing, bro. Oh my god, yes. Um, yeah. I, I got to, yeah. yeah, I, I wait till you guys see the full version. Yeah. Ooh, ooh spoilers. Ooh. It's like this. You're a talented individual. <gasps> so check this out, guys. Check this out. So I got a new computer. If it gets here before WebV Live. We are going to have a phenomenal show, and I'll leave it at that. Oh, is it a beast? Is it a powerhouse? It definitely can run faster than me, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nice. So you guys picked up some good some good deals in the uh, in the Black Friday sales then, in the Cyber Mondays? Not at all. In fact, uh, I was eyeing on a computer for like a week, and so I saw the price fluctuate. And you know what the crazy thing? I almost bought it on Black Friday, and I decided, okay, I'll wait. You know, I'm a, I'm a cheapskate, right? And it got cheaper before Cyber Monday. Like, the, like minutes after Black Friday, the price went down. I'm like, what is going on? Why it got cheaper? And then on Cyber Monday, it got even cheaper than that. So, like, I really think all they do is just, like, shave a few 20 bucks or oh, so, yeah. maybe 50 bucks. And if you're not watching the product, you think you're getting a deal, and you're not. Yeah, it's all marketing. So it's it's all marketing. So no, I didn't do a lot of shopping. I bought a computer. I bought, I got a slab for like twenty two bucks off of an auction of Alpha Flight number one. Oh, why not? Nice. I got some stuff for the kids. Yeah. So that's what I got. What'd you guys get? Uh, what did I get? I bought myself a, a Nutri no, so a Ninja Air Fryer, one of the big ones. 
Nice. Yeah, one of the ones ones with the uh, dual trays. I think it's a nine liter tray, like basically big enough to cook like you know, like your roast, your roast dinner, your roast chickens and stuff in. So we've been eyeing one up for for ages, and uh, thought now now's the time to grab one. Like you know, they were they were nice and cheap. So yeah, so uh, that's unfortunately still in the box. I haven't had a chance to do anything with it because you know life. But uh, it's it's coming out of the box today, and we're gonna we're gonna give it a test run over the weekend and see see what the big hype is about. Does anyone own one? No, I don't own one. We don't. I know D probably wants one, but then again, I tell her, you know, our brand new bread maker has been sitting in the storage for like five years. No, <laughs> so. yeah, well, I've been told these are apparently the 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 the, the must have for your kitchen. Apparently, I, I had a friend of mine who's apparently bought one, and they said they haven't turned their oven on in the last the last six months because they got they got themselves one of these. Yeah, I've been hearing a lot about air fryers. My parents have one and i know my mom said it's very helpful mm. so yeah I'm just uh it's a different taste without all the grease mm. so it's and it's quick a lot quicker yeah so yeah it seems like a perfect thing for a bachelor like me but i just haven't gotten one i've never turned on my oven like hardly ever oh really so, so what are you like a, a, a microwave man like you know if you, can, if you can't microwave it or reheat it it doesn't exist you would think, but no, I actually don't even have a mic. I, I just a lot of stovetop cooking. Oh, right. And I have a toaster. And I eat a lot of bread. Um, yeah, a lot of stovetop. Oh, we're, we're the same, Dino. <laughs> we we do a lot of stovetop as well. I mean, I use the microwave once in a while, but yeah, we just use a lot. Cook everything mm. on the stove. We don't even use the oven. Yeah, same. I, I. Yeah. It just takes so so long. It does. To cook anything in the oven. That's because you got to preheat it, and then you got to like you know put it in there, and it takes like forty minutes or so, like you know, for something to eat, cook, and it just takes like way too long. Whereas you, you stove, you stove top cook it, or you microwave, it, and it's just like yeah, at least we've done like in half the time. Well, I prefer to stove top over microwave because you know obviously microwave and stuff mm. like that. But yeah, convenience, exactly. right? You're right. It takes a while to bake something. Absolutely. Yeah. What about you, D? So, what what do you prefer? Um, being a being the food connoisseur that you are. Hey, D. Oh, hey guys. Um, sorry, I'm up here as a speaker, but um, I was half listening, so all I heard was air fryer and, and um, food. And food. Okay. Um, <laughs> what are what are my options? What was the question? Well, we're basically saying like you know that none of us like turning on our ovens because it takes like way too long to cook anything we're more into our stove top cooking or um uh, microwaving mm, probably the microwave is because it's easier um certain things are probably better in the oven um or the stove top but for sure it's more convenient in a microwave even though it's probably not mm. good yeah, we'll see. For, for for me personally, I'm big into meal prep, so I do a whole heap of cooking on a Sunday, stick it all in the fridge, and then like, you no, know, for me because I get home fairly late on on the weekdays, I just chuck chuck it all in a on on a plate, and I just microwave it, and that's me. Oh, that's what we got to do. We've had talks about meal planning or meal mm. prepping, but we just never got to it. So maybe that'll be something to do in the soon or the new year. Mm. That's it. Maybe we have like a little, uh, little, little food, uh, a uh, little food party on the, on the web, the, um, uh, the, the web, the collectives, uh, YouTube channel, little, uh, little food section, maybe. I don't know. If that's something you want to see, let me know. <laughs> Let's talk about web V. Yes. Um, we had some free promotion from Kid Arcade today. He was, uh, promoting the live, really? uh, these flyer. Yeah. Yeah. He promoted the live and these, uh, flyer got some good, uh, traction yesterday and so yeah people are excited prez what do you guys think about that oh that's cool what 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 do i think about that or what do i think let me let, let me say this <laughs> let's go so yeah in case anyone's just uh, just tuning in doesn't know about it web v live our christmas special is coming on the 17th of december which will be a sunday uh it will be sunday night uh, here in the uk or it'll be um Sunday afternoon, if it's uh, well, Sunday, or midday Sunday afternoon, uh, Pacific Standard Time, 
which I think is about 12, 12, 30 ish, about two, two, or basically two, however long we want to go. But I just want to say a big, big thank you for everyone dropping in the, the, to join us. I see Tails. I see Josh, Collectors Gone Digital. Good to see you, buddy. It's a Key Collector 98. Always a pleasure to have you in the space, buddy. Poppy, what's happening, man? Hope you're enjoying, hope you're, enjo hope you're doing well and enjoying life and all good with the family. Mark D, thanks for dropping in, buddy. And uh, yeah. So yeah, I'm 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 excited for it. Who's who's got their um ugly sweater ready to roll? I don't, I don't have one. Any. No, you haven't got one. Me 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 neither. I have to go shopping. <laughs> well, here's the problem. We we live in Hawaii, so it gets like 80 degrees here, and during WebV Live, it's going to be like close to like lunchtime. So we're going to be really hot, mm. you guys. Um. But he still wants to get a sweater. Yeah, yeah see, Poppy man, knows. He gets I'm, it up. I'm humidity. Tell him about it. humidity, Poppy. Yeah, yeah. We're going to do it. It's We're taking one for the team. Come on, man. Well, could you maybe like take like a, a Christmas jumper and maybe like alter it a bit? Maybe then, like cut the sleeves off and maybe like a a, 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 a Christmas like a, a singlet or sweat top or, or, or however you call them over there. Um, Brother, you put a scarf around your neck, you start That's sweat. it, is it? So... <laughs> Except this morning, it was hella cold this morning. I mean, yes, it's it's cold for us. Yes, I know it's freezing for other people, but for us here, it is cold. Anything below seventy, it is cold. Oh yeah, yeah, it's getting 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 cold over here now as well. Like no, I'm I'm getting to the stage where I have to start de-icing my car, which is kind of annoying. Wow, de-icing. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, that's that's the thing over here. Damn. My dad moved from Chicago. Ah, yep. It's a hassle to do anything. Mm. I gotta just say, shout out uh, Jace and Casual for these these PFPs. Yes. Like they're so fire, and I I didn't use mine as a PFP, but I used it as a banner. But it looks really, really cool. Mm. So uh, I, I also want to say a shout out to him as well. Like, you no, know, he's recently just um, done a whole heap of P, um, the profile pictures for me as well. Uh, which I I haven't had a chance to, to fully look at yet because like I literally just woke up like ten minutes ago and <laughs> must have set them somewhere last night for me. So a big big, big thank you very much. Uh, and we got uh, Kenobi Key Collection ninety eight to the stage. How are you, mate? How's things? Hey Oz, man, I didn't get to come up in the last uh, last time you held a, a Twitter space. What's up, Hanano D Dino? Hey, what's up, guys? brother? What's up, fans? It's good. So 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 I get to ask you. I get to ask you the question. How did you like the reaction video to the pie eating? Bro, I retweeted it, bro. <laughs> it was it was probably like it was it was heartwarming, bro. Like you made it yourself too, bro. That I like did. you went above and beyond, I dude. Did. Like that was like nah, like if somebody tells me to try something, I'm 99% sure I'm gonna buy it. <laughs> so you making it yourself and just seeing the reaction from like how you made it, bro, that was heartwarming, bro. Like honestly, like that shit was dope. So big ups, man. Like seriously, and yeah, I'm glad you had your first uh, slice of pumpkin pie, man. <laughs> yeah, and it was good. Uh, and it was good. Yeah, but... That's why I wanted to come up, man. I wanted to come up just for a little bit, just say what's up to you guys. Uh, let you guys know that, uh, yeah, man, you guys are, you know, still kicking ass, and I'm enjoying every minute of it. And I'm in. I'm, you know, you guys, you guys see Darren in the space. Uh, but no, we got into this show called Startup, bro, and it's just it's off the chain. It's on Prime. Amazon okay. Prime startup and uh yeah it's called startup but you gotta I mean they got you had to pay like nine dollars per season bro or something like that dude but it's hella Not dope right. dude like so I'm addicted to it um uh, she got me into it so we're in season two right now so if you guys want man it it, it sort of reminds me of like like what we're going through right now as far as like crypto and all that other stuff like it's crazy but there's more to it, but you know it, it's hella dope. So if you guys want to put that on your what to watch list, you know. Yeah, okay. You most definitely that that's dope. Hey, Hanano and D, did you guys uh, did you guys get the PO box? Oh, Hanano? So uh, no, no, I I don't think we got something. You you sent us something, bro. I sent it like two weeks ago, but I was like, man, maybe they're just not like. The, remember the Wonder Woman and the uh what was the other one? Have you got when's the last time you guys checked your PO box? Oh, we check oh. it daily. 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we didn't get anything yet, but um, you know, it no. is coming to Hawaii, so who knows? And the, the, <laughs> the joke, the joke that I had with it was that it was cheaper to send it to Hawaii than it was to New York. Oh, I had, seriously? Yeah, it, was, wow. it, was, it was like a running joke that I kept in my head. Just I was gonna say it until you got you guys. You guys seriously haven't gotten it? No, you got tracking or anything, anything, Kenobi? Yeah, hold on, dude. I saved the receipt. Chill, bro. Yeah, man. If we got anything from you, we would definitely put it on the internet. Mm. Yeah. Lost it. Lost it. See. No, don't say that. It's got one no. It. It'll oh, turn up. Lost. It'll it'll turn yeah, up. Yeah, it'll it's turn been... up. We live in Hawaii. We, it'll turn up. It's... Yeah. Well, I'm sure, like you know, the Bermuda Triangle, bro. Yeah. <laughs> put it in a bottle and just toss it in. It's coming by canoe. It's got to be, it. man. Yeah, I'm sure it'll turn up soon. Like, I'm sure like in the um oh, that hurts the, my the, the, Well the, the, the postal oh. system probably probably gets a bit bit crazy around this time of year getting into Christmas. I definitely wouldn't no, wouldn't, no, wouldn't no. want to be that, a postie. That should have got to them, bro, because I, I saw that uh what you guys got some like sent to you guys not 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 too long ago. So hold on, bro. I man, I saved that drink. Thank God I saved mm. like the receipts, bro. Oh okay, so, dude, well. um like over here, when we get stuff here on our island in this the town we live in, things may be at the post office. But like seriously, we gotta wait. We gotta give them like an extra week to sort everything because they are so short staffed, and nobody <laughs> wants to work. Like seriously, dude. No, I believe it, man. I believe it. I I do. I mean, seriously. I, um, I don't know if you what what part of the island you guys are in, but uh, no, most definitely. I got a whole bunch of mm. receipts, bro. I always keep it. <laughs> yeah, well, hand, hand, handy to have. I can imagine you're a you're you're a busy man. Have a have quite quite a lot of receipts for for parcels and stuff. Also, big 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 shout out to you as well. I can for all the uh, for the, okay. the, the 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 giveaways and and what you do and whatnot. It, it is whatnot. Yeah, yeah. yeah? I mean, yeah, it's no, some, no, amazing yeah, stuff. Man. No, it's, it's amazing, dude. I, like I said, uh, um she's back on twitter now but um i i can tag her a million times but she knows how i feel about her and uh you know big shout out to darian dude like she really does fucking she's a backbone to everything that uh, i'm able to do and um i don't give her enough praise i know that but uh yeah um really do appreciate her and uh i got a show coming up bro uh next week on Let's the third go. bro oh, okay the next week comes good I'm telling you guys right now, this is probably gonna be like this. Is probably gonna this is probably gonna be the biggest fucking whatnot show. It's, yeah, gonna right. be, it's, it's gonna be still, bro. It's gonna be. I mean, it's still for all you guys that that participate, bro. And even if you, let's say you don't, you're like, ah, oh, I'm not, I'm not into that comic. You could like still resell it for more <laughs> and. And go get a comic you like if that's the case mm. like you're gonna and and the prize that there's gonna be a lot of grant and there's gonna be a lot of prizes grand prize i'm still debating uh, i mean you know we'll see i'm i'm like secret wars 8 xbox one nintendo switch i don't know it's, it's gonna be something but uh Ooh. yeah man i'm excited uh excited but um i'm gonna send you guys the tracking number because i just found it too okay uh, I really hope that you guys do get it, Hanano. Um, I know I'm waiting on so waiting on response from I guess now you guys and uh, Superstar Money. Uh, so we'll see. Canada yeah, with, is a, a, a tricky one. With that tracking, at least we can approach our our posts and start talking mm. to those guys. And D can just lay the smack down on them. <laughs> uh, well, if, if if D's saying that there's only one worker, in which I do believe in, is probably like. Probably my cousin or some man. Just tell him. To, tell him. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, it's my cousin. No, no, it's my boss. Well, you guys are probably related. <laughs> I sent it on the fourteenth. That's crazy. Fourteenth. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'll I'll check out the tracking and go to the post office tomorrow if I need to. Okay. Yeah. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. If you're gonna send something by post, make sure you get it tracked because it's definitely worth it. Almost yeah. definitely, bro. Mm. And um, yeah, good luck with um Canada because that will probably be another week and a half. 
like longer time for us because when we send stuff to um canada it's like two almost three weeks and i'm like what the hell it's like stuck just in la before mm-hmm. it departs to go um to wh- wherever in canada so i give like a whole month um mm-hmm. whenever i ship anything to canada yeah, well, that's like when I have to send you guys something. Like, you know, I, I usually have to wait about a month before it gets to you. You yeah. know, when you was talking, you know, with the pumpkin pie, bro, like, oh, yeah? <laughs> I was looking at, play, uh, somebody sent me a DM. I forgot who it was. I got to check it out again. But they sent me a, a DM of, like, shops where you're at or, like, nearby you to, and I was like, I don't know, man. I just didn't want to take a chance on buying something and then just getting lost and whatever. But like I said, man, your 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 video was, was heartwarming bro like seriously that was dope dude but yeah i retweeted oh. as soon as i saw my g yeah no, no, no thank you very much tell you what it was i i looked all over england to see if there was actually somewhere i could buy like i could buy a pumpkin pie and pumpkin pie is just not a thing over here so i looked high and low and there was only one shop in the whole of england that actually sold like you know because I, I i could have done it like the easy way and got myself a pumpkin and and done it that way but i because I'm, I'm i wanted to be like a lazy chef i just got like a can of pumpkin pie which i think you yeah. can get all, or you can get all over the place in america here no there's only one shop in all of uk that i could find unless you want to order it online where you could buy a can of pumpkin pie you want to know what's funny though Oz? oh yeah i didn't have no pumpkin pie I'm what? what i know i know i know i know i'm talking about shit. hey I was just like, wait, what, what, what? I didn't, what? I didn't have no <gasps> I know, bro. I'm sorry. But well, you know I, what? I had a piece for you. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. I was eating for you, bro. I and you know what? Your pumpkin pie looks a hell of a lot better than uh, the pumpkin pie I probably would have ate myself. So, yeah, man, kudos. That's kudos. Well, that's kudos. it. I... I, I I just hope it tasted all right because like, like I said, like you know, it's, it's, it it was the first piece of pumpkin pie I ever had. I made yeah. it, so I've, I've got nothing to compare it to. So it it, it could have by all by all all um a comparison could have been horrible <laughs> compared to other yeah. people's. Um. Okay. Fun fact before before I step down because I'm gonna get yeah, back to this show. Uh, I watched Blue Beetle uh, today while mm. getting my hair done. Which you reckon? I hated it. What? Oh no! No! I might not watch it. No, no. Again, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, bro. Like, okay. So what? What was it about? So what was about that you didn't like? Um, damn near everything, bro. Okay. I haven't uh, seen it yet. Like, yeah. like the 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 thing. Like, I'm not lying. Like, he's dope. Like, like that. The the superpower. Like that shit is dope. Like. Um, the nano it's not nanotech, but like just the tech that that makes him Blue Beetle and how mm. he's how he's chosen. I get that, but I mean, there's scenes in the movie where you're like, "Nah, y'all didn't need to do that, man." Like, it was just too much, bro. I don't. You guys got to uh, okay. It, bro. I so mean, like- it, I was really upset because I was like, "Damn, like I'm getting my hair done. I'm, I'm and you know what? It's gonna be like a couple hours anyways. I've never seen this movie." So let me give it a shot. That shit was trash, bro. It was trash. Yeah, we got a uh, M- M- Mahalo coming up. Mahalo, you got something to throw in about the uh, about, about the blue blue, be- blue beetle? Yeah, just, also uh, welcome, by the hey, way. What's up? What's up? What's up? Just came up here to call, call out uh, um, Key Collector as a novice DC uh, fan because I personally thought that Blue Beetle was probably one of the better two comic live action adaptations they've done okay because uh they bring up the origins of ted cord how uh, jaime reyes isn't the original blue beetle um they they play into the scarabs and also leading into the green lantern core with what the scarabs are actually the nemesis to the lantern corp so to me that built up a lot of like okay. back lore, background lore but if you're not familiar with that then it wouldn't make sense so they to me it had a lot of no. easter eggs that yeah. I, I would go ahead. I, I want to say that okay, like totally, totally, you're correct. Novice in, in the background of Blue Beetle, yeah. But when your 80 year old grandmother's fucking carrying a uh, uh, a 50 cal, lifting it up like it's 20, <laughs> 20 ounces, that shit doesn't make no sense. So no, <laughs> I, no, no. And then everybody like no, I'm not. That's not. That's not. 
is is not it's real just like me. no it's no. just like check it out it's like full full full, full metal I, grandma I, I, i'm telling you guys one scene 80 year old grandma talking about we gotta go save him and she's they hand her this 50 cal it looks like it's two thousand pounds and she's just whipping it like nah, 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 it's nah, carbon nah, fiber nah. that's Bro. it <laughs> They got no scarab, bro. Anyways, that's what I. So all the other stuff, the background, cool. I yeah, I learned. I mean, that's cool. I just learned something out. But all the extra stuff, no, I'm not. No, stop. Yeah, stop. like how like how George Lopez is like a master hacker and he's brown. Thank like you. We're Thank not you. that smart. Thank you. At the table, he's like, oh yeah, well, are you guys talking about this and that? Like, bro. He's like, what? Okay. See, I'm, I'm, see that. So, so, so now, can you see where I'm coming from, Mahalo? Because I understand, like, yeah, it, it, there, there's like, you know, if you don't know the origin of Blue Beetle, yeah, I, I did, I knew that wasn't the original Blue Beetle, uh, going into it, so that was cool. But the extra stuff, no, nah, I wasn't, I wasn't, I, and I didn't want to say it. I didn't want to say it. I mean, it wasn't the, it wasn't the, it wasn't the fact that you know Blue Beetle is a bad story. No, mm. it's the fact that Grandma injected herself with twenty cc's of, of steroids, <laughs> and all of a sudden can lift a. a it wasn't even, it, bro. That's Arnold it. wasn't yo, even lifting something. Yo, like that, she, bro. she's the mother of hey. That's why, like, she's she's like a, a revolutionary leader on her old days before she migrated. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, yeah. there you go <laughs> but 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 but, but i'm saying that like you know, I, I don't know about you like you no know, but back in the day like you know i i wouldn't mess with my grandma like you know you you, you mess up in granny's house and you, know, you get a spoon around the back of the head or something like that like you know, maybe it's just like that freaky freaky granny strength <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> that's true man what do you think they make us be scared of the chunkla that, that he may have a point with that you know she, that's probably why grandma's only half chunklas <laughs> nice well, guys, uh, no, I'm about to get back to the show. Uh, I will be at LA Comic Con um, this week, so it's gonna be awesome. If you guys haven't Ooh, seen okay. the, the, if you guys haven't seen the LA Comic Con uh, exclusives that they're coming out with, they're pretty badass. Um, I don't know. Oh, oh, that... oh, oh, oh! Uh, I would just put up on some alpha there. Um, oh yeah, uh, go on. Key collector. There's Granny Goodness. If you don't know Granny Goodness, bro, she is scary as heck. Granny Goodness. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Granny Goodness. She's um the one from Apocalypse, isn't she? Hundred percent. Yep, yep. I'm with you. Yeah, I mean, I, I I don't know, I don't know much about Granny Goodness, but yeah, she's um from what I can remember, because like I said, my 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 DC lore is a, a little bit rusty or a little bit dated, I should say. But yeah, Granny Goodness is um yeah, it was uh, like scary. Look, look, I ain't one of those guys to be like, oh, granny goodness, yeah. No, I don't know who the hell that is. Now yeah. I got to look it up. Um, sounds like, you know, some a, a cookie. I don't, granny goodness cookies. Um, but other than that, no, nah, I've never heard of granny goodness, Mahalo. Um, and most definitely, uh, I, I will be looking out for granny goodness now. And if I don't even, is that a joke, Mahalo? Because if it did, it went over my head. No, she's a legit like she's probably like Crazy. one of the top three c commanders to Dark Side. Yeah, <laughs> goodness. Look, yeah, I, look I it learn up. Something new every day. That was amazing. Oh, yes. no. Yeah, that definitely look it up because yeah, she's a uh, she's a uh, not not what not someone you want to want to mess with. So I'm just having a quick quick look over the um the, the Wikipedia article. She she she's like the she trains the female furies, which are like some elite like women killers as well mm. for the the horde of Lark, dark side. So and you said, right. there, so you said that the actress is uh, that there's gonna be a uh, actress or the writer is gonna be there for Gra granny no no uh, I'm I'm just like you know, messing with you with, with the grandma and the chunkla, and I'm like, oh, granny goodness. Oh, no, I mean, if that... <laughs> hey, hey. Oh, my gosh, yeah, totally, totally, bro. Uh, nice one. Well, 
for anyone who hasn't seen it or has seen Blue Beetle, say um check it out. Say it might be good, it might be bad. So me 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 personally, I haven't seen it yet, but I I, I thought it looks cool because it seemed to me like it was like um like a DC's attempt at trying to to make their their Iron Man version, like a, the 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 Iron Man of the DC world. But I mean, the visuals look cool. Yeah, I haven't seen it. I I, I was looking forward to seeing it, and I'll probably still watch it. Um, but yeah, now that whole granny or that grandma holding a machine gun or whatever. Yeah, Bro, I'm, 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 I'm intrigued. I'm gonna go watch it. <laughs> hey. Nah, man, I'm just saying, like, hey, to each his own, man. I was just giving my 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 feedback. Mm. No, that's good, on, man. I'm, I'm trying to find, uh, I'm gonna post in the in the chat in the uh chat the variants that they're gonna have. They got a, Ooh, yeah. um, they got a couple of Disney variants, bro, like Venomized Mickey and whatnot. Ooh. Oh, that sounds cool. Um, yeah, it looks pretty dope, dude. Um, they got poke, they got cosplay Pokemon. Um, yeah, comics that they're gonna be throwing out too for some exclusives. So, hold on, let me let me find it and then I post it in there, man. Just in no, case, and then if you got if you got, I'll be there. So if if anybody's like interested in any of the uh, mm -hmm. in any of the variants, just let me know. And is that that this week? Is that this weekend? LA Comic Con? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, starts uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, so look, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Oh, well, there you go. Is anyone else in the out there going to LA Comic Con? No, mm. not this year. Are you gonna no. go for all three days? Yeah, I'm, I mean, if if it's not cracking on Sunday, like I, I'll get a feel for it. I'm only gonna stay in Artist Alley to be honest with you. Um, oh, cool. But uh. If it's not cracking, I'll leave. I'll leave on Sunday. Mm. I mean, I'll leave on Saturday night or something like that. I'll change my flight. Mm. So, are, are there any big big names attending uh, LA Comic Con that we might might know of? Any artists or or anything like that? Yeah, man. So, uh, was Scotty Young? Scotty Ooh. Young gonna be there. Uh, Dan Slott's gonna be there. Oh, nice. Uh, who else is gonna be there, man? Um, Rose Besh is gonna be there. Um, oh yeah, yeah. I know Besh. Yeah. Um God, who Cody Ziegler is gonna be there, the writer for uh, uh a lot of the Miles Morales uh books. He's gonna be there. Oh wow. Um yeah, so I pinned I your just, post up with that. Yeah, man. It's gonna be dope, man. So hopefully I get a double sig on some of the uh Dan Slot and uh and Scotty Young books. Uh I have a couple of the uh those books uh, if i can get a double signature that'd be dope let's see what's up no very cool so yeah you got la la comic-con coming this weekend if you're able to make it so it sounds like it might, might be worth checking out and uh just want to say a big big thank you to everyone who's uh taking the time out of their busy day or night to come and chill with us so i see um all sorts of familiar faces and a few few new ones in the in out there uh, in listening who do i see i see I see Mask, I see Tails, I see Chubba Fett, thanks for coming in, Nino Blue, the Batman with laughs, always a pleasure, say Nas, say Evolved, hey yo, thanks for dropping in, mate, of course we've got Ronnie Lido, say Ronnie, some of the artwork you make, you, you're making, mate, amazing, um, your Giordio Emoji, say thanks, thanks for dropping in, mate, and uh, yeah, big big thank you to everybody uh, for, who's taking the time to just come chill with us. So far, we're having a nicer, nicer, chill discussion about comic books and Blue Beetle and, and all that good stuff. But yeah. So yeah, so um, we, in case you didn't catch it before, we've got our Web V Live coming up on, um, on the 17th of December, which is uh, going to be uh, our, uh, our live stream on YouTube. So we're going to be wearing... Um, Horrible, horrible Christmas, horrible Christmas sweaters. Um, just having like nice chill round round table discussions, um, giveaways. Say maybe some um, uh, show and tells, and um, yeah, it's just going to be a really really fun event. So if, it, if everyone's invited and if you can make it, um, fantastic. Um, but yeah, that, that that's coming up. Uh, mask, mask, get your hand up. What's happening, mate? How's it going? How you doing? Good evening. Good. Dino, Hanano, D, Mahalo, and Key. How's it going that? this evening? What's that, Mahalo? Oh, yeah. yeah. I jump in to defend Mahalo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 
it, it's I, I think that you got to look at the significance of that scene, right? I, I get it. It's it's a comic book movie. Come on, it's not supposed to be serious, right? It's not supposed to be like things are not supposed to mm. happen that should be happening in real life. It's a movie. It's enjoyment. Mm. Uh, but that scene itself, I think, there's bigger. It's bigger because the significance of it is in Hispanic cultures, Cuban cultures, Mexican culture. Uh, I assume a lot of cultures, the grandmother is the strongest person of the family. Whether uh, it is okay. both emotionally, physically, mentally, she is the the protector of the grandkids. Right. And, I, and that is the way that scene is portrayed as. Right. So it's more like symbolic. That she would do everything to protect her grandkids. And that's where she gets, you know, super whatever you want to say. Mm. You know, she picks up a 30 cow. <laughs> That's but it. I, I think it's the significant of the scene because I I love the movie. I enjoyed it. It's the number one streaming movie right now, and one of the biggest success uh, for DC. Mm. And uh, as far as streaming goes, and it kind of opens the picture. Uh, it's streaming and social media hurting movies because if if in social media destroys a movie, then people will not go to the theater. And what this mm. movie showed is they waited for the movie to come out on Max and watch it because the audience was there. Mm. Yeah, I, I, I can understand that. I mean, like, you know, the, 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 the theaters are getting hit pretty hard. I mean, like, we've actually had one of our, our biggest uh, theater chains um, close down. Um, actually, I think they're closing down today off the top of my head um, because of that, that, that very fact. Because um, uh, prices are getting too high. They can't get bums in seats. And... Yeah, this just because people just don't want to leave their houses because they can get it get everything um streamed to the TV. No, it's crazy. That, the, if, hmm. if you circle back, the first articles that you see about Netflix is going to kill the movie theaters is from 2016, and every year that they now? put an article <laughs> about streaming is going to hurt movie theaters. Yeah, because I was doing some research on that. Go go ahead. Uh, no, I was just gonna, I was just gonna uh, I was gonna piggyback off what you're saying and. I totally agree. That's why when people talk about like box office numbers, like now I'm like, bro, it's because everybody's streaming. Like you can't mm. like the the few people that do go to the movie theaters, uh, it's either like a special occasion or or they just you know what I'm saying it's just it, it's whatever. But you can stream, bro. I, I a movie can come out tomorrow and I could I could stream it, of course, and I pay what twenty five dollars, you know, mm. compared to paying twenty five dollars for a popcorn and a drink. You know what yep. I'm saying? And that's not even including the tickets. Like exactly and. You know, so I mean, yeah, it's, it's it's crazy. But I was I was watching uh ESPN today. Um, forget the dude's name, but they were talking. There was like they brought up X. It was on ESPN, and they brought up X, and there was like, you know, X controls everything, controls the narrative on everything, and that because they were talking about like athletes, and you know, I mean, you say you say you say anything on X, and it's regarding an athlete. And it blows up mm. and it can either make or break an athlete. And I, I, I can say that it X pretty much does that, not just for athletes, but for like what mask was talking about for, for movies or even like how I'm coming up to the, you know, coming up, I say saying, I didn't like blue beetle and that could have affected somebody's, you know, mm. uh, you know, what, what they, what they, what they wanted to see or whatever. Yeah. The so expectations. I, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So for me personally, I'm like cool, grandma's hella strong, you know, back backbone and I just that that didn't it it really defeat it, it, I didn't like it, me personally. Um but other than that like his powers like I said, his powers and everything hella dope. Um just seeing I, I don't know, he had like he had like this innocence to him and then he started like just I don't you, you guys just got to watch it but mm. it wasn't it wasn't my cup of tea. And so, you know, if, I'm not saying that everybody doesn't have to jump on board or anything like that. And, and, and look, mm. I learned some fun facts. You know what I'm saying? I did like how she, uh, well, at the end, well, she says something at, after she's done doing her thing with the 300 cal. But I thought that was dope, you know, uh, revolutionary type stuff mm. or chatter. But um, no, man, I mean, you know, I still learned a couple of things, and, but I just didn't. I was like, ah, oh, no, 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 you know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, 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 let, well, do you think it would have been a bit more, and like, obviously, like, you know, her, her holding the 50 caliber machine gun's pretty unrealistic, but do you think it would have been a little bit more over the top if she had like a her Rambo moment where she was like holding it with one hand and then, like, you know, fires it off in the, into the air with one hand going, ah, ah. 
I, bro, you, you, you probably <laughs> mapped out that one scene that I'm talking about. <laughs> where it's like, so, yeah, no, I'm just, I'm, know, I'm, I'm, I, I, yeah, get going, Moss. And I was going to say, what's crazy is that uh, Canola's talking facts about social media and athletes and shit because yes. we're watching it played out in real life right now with Josh Giddy. Oh, man. <laughs> And it's uh, and that started on Twitter. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But it was I, a basketball I've... player who's been accused of uh, sleeping with an underage girl. But there's a lot of story okay. in that, and it's so it's, uh, it, it, the reporters and the real journalists are not really touching it as much because it's under investigation, mm -hmm. and he's playing. But in Twitter, it's like full blown out. Like it, it blew up because of Twitter, basically. Right. So yeah, it's like Twitter is one of the the biggest influencer, or X, whatever you want to call it right now, in mm. in, in today's world right now. This is the biggest yeah. influencing platform of them all. Yeah, well, it is. Yeah. I mean, like it's it's more or less dominating everything. I mean, like who? I, I don't know a lot of people who still use Facebook these days. I mean, it's more. I mean, to to me, it seems like where 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 it's all at these days is X and Instagram, and and probably TikTok to a degree. Let me and, tell you, you how... know what the reason I think, I, and, and re really quick enough, I'm sorry. No, go ahead. The yeah, reason yeah. why I think that it dominates this much is because every so far, there's, you, you have no consequences. So let's say if you say a story about somebody and it just rose, you know, you're hiding behind literally a PFP. You're hiding, you're hiding behind a, a, a fifth email. <laughs> if somebody can even find that email that you have, so you. There, you're free of all consequences, so you don't even have to be factual, and mm -hmm. your story can run and get legs, and you have no consequences. Where yeah, no, I was I was gonna say like me and my son, we were debating, right? We were talking, you know, we were talking about um, like some political stuff and whatnot, and he was like, "Where do you get your facts from, Dad?" I'm like, "X, bro." Mm. <laughs> And he was like, yeah. that's not real. That's not real. He was like, I'm going to go upstairs right now. Give me 20 minutes and I'm going to do some fact checking. And I'm like, hey, bro, it's, on, <laughs> it's on X, bro. And what, he came back? <laughs> he did come back, bro. And uh, I mean, me and him, like when we debate, like, yeah, I get, I mean, a lot of my info, like, I'm not going to lie. But that for me, I don't like if it's one post, I'll go down like the comment line just to you know like I, i'll keep on going down till i see somebody debunk it or whatever because mm -hmm. i know like half these stories if not more on x aren't a hundred percent uh most recent was the and i i sometimes catch myself like damn man like to just slow down and waited for the news or whatever like you know that whole thing with the homer and bart i'm like nope i'm, oh, not, yeah. I'm not i'm not i'm not going to tweet this i'm not because mm. you know what was funny? It was the same day that the comic, like I said, it had the uh, had the Spider Man uh, symbol in the bottom left, and I was giving, yep, yep. Um, you know, I gave Vivi, I gave Vivi props. I was like, "That's yep, dope." I saw that. And then five minutes later, that shit comes out about Homer and Bar. I'm like, "Nope, I'm not. I'm oh, not mate. saying nothing." And then you know, Alex came out with his stuff and whatever, and I'm like, "Yeah." See. I, I I was just like, yeah, because that that sparks so much, like you know, outrage. I mean, because I, I I caught like you know the very sort of tail end of it as well, because like, I think all of it happened while I was asleep. And I woke up like, and everyone's up in arms about the bottom of the um the the the, the gold moments Homer and Bart, and it's like, what the hell's going on here? And it's just like that everyone's like, oh, you know, they've taken this the, the signature off, like you know, they can change our our um our NFTs, like you know, at, at will. That's not how it's supposed to be. And then then the whole debate about in, inter interoperability comes back into it. Whereas I think like you know, uh, what's it, Alex? T uh, uh, tweeted on um or put on Discord that uh, I think it was just like a, a texture glitch or something like that, and then um yeah. and then basically all was forgiven and everyone everything goes back to normal. But um but it, it it just goes back to your point about like you know the um the the power of like you know uh, of of X and like you know spreading like you know, I wouldn't say like you know spreading like you know misinformation, but like you know how how one thing can just like blow up when it's just like something minor. No, I mean, think about it. You, there, every time I see somebody post something, I have to see, okay, why are you posting this? And then I have to come back, okay, you're trying to get engagement. Mm. You're trying, you're trying to mm. make money on the platform, and, and it's, it's, it's what people are trying to do. How can I be 
the most prerogative person, the, the, the most uh, controversial person and get people to respond, then I'm going to tweet something and put it out there in the universe to try to get as much engagement as I can. Mm. Yeah, that is true. Um, Hinano, D, Dino, so you you guys got anything you want to want to chime in with in the conversation? Any any, any point, points of view on the on on the matter? Um, not really. I guess. I was gonna say you you, Except, you, 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 um, you can say no if you want to. <laughs> uh, no, I just like hearing you guys what you guys um perspectives are, but um, yeah, I find that the more untrue something is, the quicker it is to spread. Hmm. Yeah. What about you, Donna? Uh, yeah. Oh, sorry. I just want to say what's up, Matt. Um, what's up, Mahalo? And um, yeah, I don't really have anything to say about that. I mm. I saw it. I think it was, was it this morning or yesterday, and I was like, "What's going on here?" Mm. And yeah, it did get a ton of engagement. A lot of people were talking about it. Um, but by the time I already saw it, it was quote solved. And I gotta say, like, I don't. I don't know what the whole thing about like they obviously added to the collectible by putting the trademark on it so that was interesting um but yeah i never had a problem with them improving collectibles they've done it before they've animated ritmo they've they've done other things to improve the the collectible um obviously i don't want them changing uh, major things that are gonna uh, just like ruin the integrity of the collectible itself but Mm. The yeah, the signature. I'm glad. I'm glad it's there. You know, obviously, just taking that off would have been uh, really lame. But I don't think that was their intention ever. Just somebody saw it when it was going through whatever process it was going through, and then threw it up on Twitter. And then, of course, uh, it was like wildfire. Uh, yeah. But I was just I was glad by the time I saw it, it was already kind of like addressed by by Alex because you know it's just. I just missed a lot of nothing is how I felt. Yeah, definitely. Um, also, I just want to uh, put this out there as well. If anyone's out there listening in the in, in the audience or wants to come up to the stage and say hi or chime in on the conversation, please please feel free to do so. Like I say, it's, uh, like I say every single episode, it's a safe space, and uh, we we appreciate everyone's point of view. and And if you want to come up and speak for the first time or just looking to build a bit of confidence. Um, by all means, please, please come up. Just, uh, just as long as, uh, as long as, uh, you're, you're as, a uh, as D kindly likes to coin, not a dick, or, 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 or even if you're a troll, like come, come on up because I got my Phytomatic five thousand or three thousand ready to roll, and I'm, I'm dying to use it. <laughs> It'll be more realistic than the grandma from the movie. Then. That's it. That's it. I can have my grandma moving and mow and, and mow, mow them all down. <laughs> hold, hold it with one hand. That's it. Hold it with one hand. Like, you know, have, have, have my Rambo moment. Uh, speaking of that, I did have a question because uh, I don't know anything about Blue Beetle. Um, Mask and Mahalo, I was just wondering, like, do you think you need to know the lore to really appreciate the movie? Or do you think it's going to catch on with just normal people? Um, I'm not, uh, Kenobi, I'm not calling you a normal person because I know you know more than the average person. But just for me, who never i don't i've never even heard of blue beetle until it became a movie uh for me do you think i would like it just based on that or do you think normal people like me will will appreciate the movie or do you got to know the story behind it to to like it oh was that directed mm -hmm. at me i'm sorry either you or mohalo or both yeah yeah either one I guess Mah I don't think Mahalo's up here only talking. No, I think you, no, I, I, I think I think he got rugged. He's back now. So Mah Mahalo, you still with? Yeah, I'll chime in with that one. He just he just got yeah he just got called back up. Yo, know, so my knowledge with Blue Beetle is not like the ultimate fan, but I've read like some Jeff Johns Green Lantern books, and so like they use some of the Blue Beetle lore from there to do some stories from that. And then I saw um, Young Justice, which also has Jaime Reyes as one of the characters mm -hmm. later on into the season. And from there, you see some more lore with the Beatles there. And I, I was entertained with that. And then seeing the lore from those shows kind of tie into the films um, or leading up into some of that lore from the from what I learned from the series. 
into the films was an enjoyable experience. I don't know how that would work for the uh, rainy day weather fans, just because I was exposed to that way before the films. So I, I, as a fan of DC animated films, was just like giving them props for actually doing good to the source material. No, very cool. So what about um, Mask or Key, Key Collector? You guys got anything you want to add? I guess from a cultural standpoint, if I can, if I could have viewed it, how Mask was like, came up here and said it, I think that would have been, I don't know, man. I mean, that shit was, it was corny, bro. I'm not going to lie, bro. That shit was corny. It was, it was, it was corny as hell. Now, if anybody likes corny, like, I, I look, we've we've seen introductions of of other of other characters, and yeah, like whatever, it can it can be corny too because mm -hmm. you you're getting to know them. But that, it was <laughs> that jump was corny, bro. I ain't gonna lie. That's just my standpoint. Now, but I would I, I still respect the the cultural uh, standpoint, like as far as like knowing you know the mother or the grandma and she's the backbone and looking at it like that that's dope um but as far as like the like oh yeah the the, the little nuggets like yeah I, I knew that he wasn't the the og uh blue beetle uh going into it but like i said they didn't do i don't think they did him wrong as far as like the blue beetle and and whatnot but everything else surrounding it was just I mean, it, it's it's somewhat like how you hear like like people talk about like Thor Love and L Love and Thunder and like mm -hmm. how it was too like too I liked I liked it, but a lot of people was like, oh no, there's just too much, you know, comedy and this and that. It, it wasn't all mm -hmm. that. So I mean, you know, for this one it was just it was it was corny to me, but some people might say the same thing about Thor Love and Thunder uh Love and Thunder and mm -hmm. you know, I, I liked it though. I liked Thor Love and Thunder, but you know. I think, mm -hmm. I think it could have been a little bit more, a little bit more better. I mean, and then yeah, you got George Lopez in there, and all of a sudden, you know, he, he's this freaking NASA, you know, fucking. Okay, yeah, I don't know. It... It's crazy, bro. I, you, yeah. I, I, I was no. But okay. To each his own, man. Yeah, that's cool. Well, I mean, like the the, the only thing I the only thing I know about Blue Beetle. And a uh, fun fact as well is that um, I believe the actress who played the mother might have been, uh, she was actually in uh, one of my favorite movies, which is a Predator. She, uh, she, she played um, a, a young Anna. Oh, nice. Mm, so fun, fun, fun fact, if anyone's not familiar with that, you can go, go, go look it up if you want. But, um, but yeah, I mean, I, don't know, I guess, like, like I said, everyone's got their own opinion. I mean, like in in the way of um, Thor: Love and Thunder, I mean, like there are sections of that movie I liked, and there's sections I didn't. I reckon they could have actually made like two movies out of that whole thing, like one obviously about the darkness and another one about like you know having. Or actually, I tell you what, they could just like cut out the whole section with Russell Crowe because that was just uh, that was just horrible. Him him, him being Zeus, um, but yeah, how how about this for a question? Just because like you know we've we've got another DC movie coming out soon. Um, who's seen the uh, the latest trailer for um the next um Aquaman movie? I haven't seen it. Is it good? Yeah, I've seen it. It looks it look it, it, it does look really good. I mean, like the the visuals look like amazing, and uh, it's it, it's more or less just um like um uh, Black Manta just come coming in and just basically tearing everything up. Uh, that what, sounds dope. But yeah, that one movie that Hanano and D were talking about, what's it called, guys? Because I seen the trailer on that one. That shit looks dope. Um, you guys were talking about it like a week ago. Do you oh. remember? Oh, I think we were doing the reaction to um, what if? Oh, the the the, not, the Marvel what, what if? if? It's the other one. Uh, Ghostbusters. No. It's like. It's like Dune and whatever mixed. Oh, uh, Rebel, uh, Rebel Moon. Rebel Moon. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. That that that, that does look good. We haven't done a reaction to that yet, although we've seen the trailer already. I think that was one that you and I wanted to do together, Oz. Mm, yeah, that that was one on our list. It was that and uh, Madam Web. But yeah, we thought that, that, um, that that what if was a, a a bit of a better choice. Yeah, for sure. 
but yeah. Got an emoji in the house. What's that, man? Emoji. Yeah, sorry, emoji. So uh, 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 I was. I was getting to you. Um, how how are you, mate? Thanks, th- thanks for coming up. Hey, hey, I'm good. I'm good. How's uh? I just want to say what's up, everyone on stage. Appreciate y'all. Uh, appreciate y'all for having the space and the discussion. Um, I love DC. I uh, oh man, yo, you know, you know, it's crazy. You know, it's crazy. Um, I was not going to watch Blue Beetle. Um, you know, and I keep. I keep uh, skipping past it in HBO Max because I'm, I'm I was honestly scared. I was honestly scared, um, <laughs> just because okay. like because I don't know where DC is going because they're gonna have a reboot soon. I know Aquaman is coming out, but after that, they're rebooting the whole thing. So you know, I'm kind of like, you know, what is this gonna be? I'm really familiar with. Um, I'm more so familiar with Blue Beetle from like you know the Titans. Um, so I really didn't know the purpose of doing a standalone movie. Um, but, you know, hearing you guys talk about it, um, Hollow and Mask, I'm, I'm going to watch it now. I'm actually going to check it out and watch it um, because now I am interested, uh, even though I know, you know, it's, I guess, I guess this is going to be it for it, whatever they're building with it. But, um, but just the fact that it would, you know, that you guys said it was done good as far as with the, um, staying true to the character um i'm interested i'm interested now but i was honestly like i was honestly dubbing i still haven't even watched Shazam either for the same reason um i've been dubbing a lot of dc lately uh emoji he is going to be part of uh guns uh dc universe oh the movie is not part of guns dc universe but he is part of guns dc universe the actor oh. and, and the character. Blue okay, Beetle. so they're just bringing Ooh. him over. Is it going to be like a, um, I guess like a multiverse thing or something like that? Oh, no, no. This is like a, a standalone, nothing to do with the other DC movies. Okay, but just bringing the actor mm. over. It's like uh, that intru- in, introducing the character and the actor. Yeah, it's the way Gunn said it. This is not the first uh, DCEU or whatever it is that they call it. Yeah. This is the first character, but it's not the first movie. Mm. The first so, movie will be Superman Legacy. That's right, yeah. Got it, got it. Yeah, yeah so I'm going to check it out. I'll probably watch it, uh, not tomorrow night, but I'll watch it um, Friday. I'll probably watch it Friday night. Mm. I'm going to try and put it on my list of things to watch um, come Saturday night, because that's, that's normally my, my movie night. Nice, nice. That's of course pending if the if, if, if the missus will let me because uh, we've got very opposing tastes when it comes to a uh, it comes to film. Yo, it could be a good day night. You could be like, yo, yo, I got this, you know, movie about this um this uh, beetle that's you know. Supposed It'll be, to be the like first time y'all go gem. to sleep before y'all are supposed to go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> well, the, 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 well, that, that, that's that's just what I was supposed to say. Like, hopefully, with a bit bit of luck, she'll she'll pass out on the couch, and then like you know, I I can make make the casual swap over to Blue Beetle. Like, she'll probably start us off with some horrible chick flick movie, and then like <laughs> no, she'll 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 pass out on the couch, and then I was like, yep, wicked, let's put on Blue Beetle. Say some romantic <laughs> comedy, and then when she falls asleep, just be like, yo, you missed all the romantic parts. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> smart, smart. I will tell you, there's a lot of stuff that, for me, in, in uh, our family, uh, especially on my wife's side, like George Lopez, the character, literally is my wife's cousin, who's in the 50s. He's not a hacker, but the, all the other parts, uh, the conspiracy theorist part, oh boy, this man, this man does not use uh, a credit card. He's oh, never yeah? had a credit card in his life, because he feels that the government is watching him, and they're They'll try to get all his information. Literally, this this guy is George Lopez's character. No, God. sounds like my missus. <laughs> oh, so bad. Yeah, I I I have the same the same uh, conversation with, with with the missus all the time. Like you know, say so it's like every time she like orders something online, and she like gets me like you know to to, to check like the little box if it's like the lock symbol and like you know, oh, have I done this right? Have I done that right? Like I don't want people stealing my information. I just say to her, look. You just have to get comfortable with the fact that someone somewhere probably already has your details, and just like you know, you can you can tear your hair out worrying about it, or you can actually do something about it if 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 something actually ever happens. Like you start getting like you know malicious emails or weird things on your transaction histories, then you can start panicking. If not, like you know, then just yeah, carry on with life. 
Yeah, exactly. And I would say people have different. So she didn't feel lost or anything. Or in reverse, she she hated Loki. <laughs> she and, what? Uh, yeah, because <laughs> she hates the whole multiverse thing. To her, it's all confusing. I have to explain it over and over again how it works. And I was like, what? <gasps> yeah, she didn't even like the Marvels. Thank God, right. my, thank God for my daughter. She loved the Loki and the Marvels and all that. Are you talking about Loki 2 or Loki 1 as well? No, yeah, yeah, she saw both of them. Wow, yeah, because I, I mean, I didn't even know, I didn't even know about the multiverse stuff, but Loki 1 just blew me away. And oh, I mean, no, I love Loki. Loki, I think, is a masterpiece. The ending is, is beautiful. It's, it's, it's like Iron Man, right? Ending type. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah it, d it does cap the whole thing off very well. Like, and it, and it's very interesting where, where the character is going to go from here. Like, if, if there, is that basically like Loki done? Or if they're going to like pull, pull pull him out and use him somewhere else in the MCU. Uh, the rumor is it's uh, never count any character over <laughs> now more than ever yeah. because they think yeah. about every character they can to bring the franchise back the way they're they're heading. Mm. But uh, the writer for Loki, uh, that's what I was. Season he's actually going to be writing uh, mm. Kang Dynasty and uh, Secret Wars. That's right, because I, I was literally just about to lead into that. But yeah, that's that's right, because like you know, Kang, Kang Dynasty is another one that's up in the air at the moment because they're still deciding whether they want to carry on with Kang or not. Yep, yep. And, and then uh, I'm glad you guys did not do a review for uh, uh, Spider Woman, uh, uh, Madam. Oh, Web. Madam. With the, the same with, Spider Woman. With the, the Spider. Same, yeah. <laughs> the same writing team that did Morbius is actually actually created this movie. Ooh, ooh, okay. Uh, what? Oh, See, great. so you you didn't you didn't like Morbius mask? What? Oh my god! Have you, you, you like Morbius? Tell me you enjoyed Morbius. No, I, I mean it wasn't it wasn't boring. It what? Was, it was... I fell asleep watching that movie. Oh really? Yeah, I, I had to watch it three times because I I fell asleep twice in it actually. Yeah, and I was streaming I mean... it too. Yeah, I mean, I I thought Mor Morbius was okay, but yeah, it was definitely not n not up there like as like top like you know superhero movie or anything like that. And the and the ending didn't kind of like you know, make make a lot of sense to me either. Yo, like, did like they, what? Uh, Osman, did yeah. they troll that movie? I heard that um, like uh, like fans were like trolling and saying they should put it back in theaters, and then um, Sony thought that they were actually being for real and actually did put it back in theaters. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> I didn't know that. I didn't know Yo, that. I heard that. <laughs> Yeah, Mahalo's got his hand up. Mahalo, you got something to add, something to add there, mate? Yeah. I'm going to turn this to old school community uh, banter here. But, okay. Mass, you notice how uh, Key Collector here likes like all the movies nobody likes? Like, he likes Star Wars, the sequel trilogies. Oh, now he likes yes. Makes sense. <laughs> you know what it is? I, I create my own story. You know what I'm saying? I, That's and, it. And, you know, I mean, because it, it can be so easy to say, oh, I like. Star Wars episode four, five, six, one, two, and three. That's so simple. That's so simple. Why? Luke, Vader, Leia, the list goes on. Now, I mean, for me personally, like, I got like, I'm more of like, how can I say? I'm be real. Uh, I like yeah, love on. stories. I really do. And seven, eight, and nine to me, like, I don't, I, I don't think that, like, I don't think uh, Ray should have been like, she should have learned the force that fast. I don't know how the hell she did that, but other than that, like I mean, it was it was it was a cool love story. That's how I, that's how I saw it. Like it was a cool love story. So seven, eight, and trained, nine. I... She was trained by Jaime Reyes' grandmother. That's how she learned the force. <laughs> <that fast. laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, hey man, seven, eight, and nine. I still roll with it, man. Like they and you know, I mean, I, I those are probably like. uh like I got a Ray statue. I got a couple Ray statues. Um, Kylo and Ray battling. Yeah, man. No, I'm 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 a fan of it, man. So not but what we're seeing up here is that like I said, like my cup of tea or my cup of Joe, 
is not going to be, you know, mm. everybody else's. So, I mean, it's not like I'm not saying that I'm not into what you guys are into or whatever. It, everything leads up to something. I mean, yeah. hopefully, you know, Blue Beetle, uh, whatever they're going to do with that, that's going to be dope. Like, I'm looking at this uh, Superman Legacy cast, and I'm like, holy crap, if they if they mess this up, I mean, there's they got a star-studded cast in, in, for uh, Superman Legacy. So I'm looking at that right now. But um, no, nah, man, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll sit Who, down and watch cast? it. Who's the cast? I haven't seen What's, it yet. I'm looking right now. So who they got? Who, who they, they got? got? They got uh, the new, the the young stud David Corinne Sweat. Uh, they got Skyler uh, Justin. Just I don't know. I'm a butcher's last name. Jasando. Uh, they got, and I'm butcher this dude's last name. Eddie uh, uh, Gathiji. Uh, he plays. He's he's actually uh, an actor in the show that me and uh, me and the uh, me and Darren are watching right now um, in in startup. Uh, they got Nathan uh, Fillion. Uh, mm. Who else, man? I mean, uh, they got Rachel Brosnan. So one I like was the guy that they casted for uh, Lex Luthor. Um, yeah, Nicholas Holt. Yeah, Nicholas yeah. Holt. Uh, Beast. Yeah. Be- Be- Beast mm-hmm. for the new X Men movies. Yeah, man. Yeah, I'm 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 looking at it now as well. Like, there's a couple I don't really recognize, but yeah, I I recognize Nicholas Holt, uh, Nathan Fillion, definitely recognize him. He's playing Guy Gardner, which is a I, I reckon is a, a a very fitting role for him, considering if he if he plays him like he does in uh, Firefly, I reckon that's a good fit. Um, oh yeah, and Anthony um, uh, uh, Carrigan, Carrigan playing Rex Rex Mazin. Um, I recognize him from the uh, from the Gotham uh, TV show. He played uh, Victor Zaz. Um, and and that was there's like, a couple couple characters I could learn about. I don't, mm. I don't know who Metamorpho Metamorpho is and Mister Terrific. Yeah. If they do this, like, okay, so this is based off the comic book All Star Superman, and it's okay, by Grant, it's by Grant Morrison, and it's a 12th issue run, if I'm not mistaken. And it's probably it's it's a masterpiece. It it's dark. It's it's good. It's great. It's it, it's one of the best storylines, probably most underrated, one of the most underrated ones, really. Uh, but it, it is so good. So, and that's what this is supposed to be based on. Uh, so, it, it's, yeah, but there, I'm hoping they hit it out of the park with it. Mm. Well, it's, I, I, looks like, yeah, I think it looks so like too, it's, a, yeah, it looks like it's scheduled for 2025 at this point. Osman, did you say um, Guy Gardner? To having him as Green Lantern yeah. in this new, uh, yes, yes, Nathan new, Fillion. Uh, yeah, well, that's what I was saying here, according to um, Internet Movie Correct. Database. He's gonna be Guy Gardner, yes, okay. But and yeah, we, is he is he gonna be the only, like, as far as you know, is he gonna be the only, like, the main Green Lantern for this, uh, mm. DC? Well, well, so, so so far, according to the cast list on the site here, that's that's the only Green Lantern I can see, okay. um. I was just thinking, like, you know, and they've got like a Mr. Terrific. Like, you know, I'm pretty sure I remember Mr. Terrific. He um, had a role in uh, the Arrow TV series, and he's a he's he's a bloke with like the T on his chest and has like little metal mm-hmm. orb things. T spheres, yeah. That's the one, yeah. The engineer, Lois Lane, Superman. What's his, what's his power? What's Mr. Terrific's power? He's a tech guy, if I remember right. He's smarter than Lex Luthor. Yeah. Oh. But yeah, but no, it's an, and we got um Isabel Masita. Um, she's playing um what's it, uh, Hawk Girl. And uh, okay, so I'm I'm not overly familiar with the actress, but apparently she's uh she's got a role in um, uh, Madam Web. And done a few other little bits and pieces. Oh, hang on, as Isabel Smart. No, yeah, no. So she's she she's also got a role in um the new Spider uh, Madam Web coming up. But um, speaking of Madam Web, how? What what did everyone think about Madam Web? Are we looking forward to it? Are we do we think it's gonna it's gonna go along the same lines as Morbius? Um, One thing I think I <laughs> is that yeah, they are tying in some some Easter eggs for the um, Spider Verse with uh, Morlan and the Inheritors with those characters. Yeah, I'm. I'm not. Um, I'm not expecting. Um, I'm gonna watch it. I'm just going in with really low expectations, mm. but I'm gonna watch it just because I want to see. Like Mahalo said, I want to see where you know what they're building with the whole. Yeah, same. 
Yeah, I want to see how it sort of like fits into the whole like you know Sony's uh, Spider Man verse they're trying to trying trying to flesh out. I I will watch it, uh, but uh, again, not high expectations as well. And then of course yeah. the other movie, what's it called, Ray, uh, the Craven movie, as well. Oh yeah, not yeah. That many high expectations either. <laughs> But, yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll be honest. It, it does look uh, like just just going off of the trailer. It does look um, it's got like very sort of like, like Morbius vibes. I mean, it looks cool visually. <laughs> looks cool, but um, yeah, it looks like the story and the writing might be a little bit weak. But again, it might surprise us, and it might it might be awesome. I don't know. Pure if, speculation. If this is the universe that they're going to introduce Miles live action in, y'all better start setting. Oh God, no! I was just board. about to. I was just about to ask you that, man. Uh, do you think that this is going to be where they? And you said you said start selling. Hey, yeah, this is the universe that they're gonna put them in. Yeah, yeah, sell the. Um, mess. You gotta realize that Sony. I don't know. Sony owns the rights for Miles because they, Miles was created post. Um, oh yeah, they own them because they have them on. It's the same thing as the X Men, right? If they would have created any X Men characters, Fox would have owned them. Mm -hmm. The same thing with Miles. They created Miles during the ownership of sony so sony gets to those characters that's the oh, man. He... tell your ultimate fallouts no not finished uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're, you're saying it's gonna dump oh if if if, if these if, if it was sony I, I don't think sony is gonna i don't think marvel and sony will allow miles to dump on this kind of no. movies with morbius and all those i don't think they'll allow it to fail yeah, he's got too much of a fan base behind him, and, and also considering, like, you know, what's the uh, the, the Spider Man game just recently did like really well as well. Like, you know, they're they're probably going to tread lightly with the character because they don't want it to, yeah, to to, to bomb or do do badly. Yeah. So I'm uh, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that they introduce him into the MCU and not uh not n not the Sony verse, or or better yet, if they actually merge the two and actually create something like awesome, that would be that would be great. But um, yeah, I'm I, I'm with you. I hope they introduce him into the MCU and not the not the Sony verse because they don't have a great great track re record at the moment. Yeah, they're they're even talking about cre they're making a Sinister Six movie, which that just came out mm. a couple of months ago. Well, they're setting up for it, aren't they? Because like, what we've got we've, we've we've already got most of them already. We've got we've got Craven, we've got Rhino. Um, who else is there? We've got uh, Vulture. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's coming. So oh, Tom Hardy said that this will be his last Venom movie. Yeah, I read that they've um they've just uh, recently re resumed uh, production on it as well. Yep. Yeah, well that that'll probably be. I mean, I I don't know about you guys, but like the the last Venom movie, like you know, um, what's it, Max, the one with Carnage? I I didn't I didn't like it at all. I like Carnage. Carnage was cool, but um, yeah, the, just the story was a bit meh. It just seemed like it was just like a lot of, a lot of basically like a bitching between him and um, him and Venom. It's like I'm better, you're better. I don't need you. It's like it was like a horrible like you know love hate relationship. I still haven't seen the second one. Haven't seen it. No. I think I think one of the best things about those like Venom movies is is Tom Hardy. And yeah. like how dope of an actor he is. Um, oh, he's a really good actor. I'll give him yeah. that. Uh, and also, I mean, the Venom design. The Venom design was actually, especially, especially coming out of Spider-Man Three. Um, mm. You know, but outside of that, yeah, I think Tom Hardy just carries that whole movie. Yeah, oh yeah, I, I agree with him too. It's I, Tom Hardy was the reason the movies were good. Uh, I think that Woody Harrelson was he was too old to play Carnage. Mm. In my opinion, I, I, that's what I think. At least I fixed his hair. <laughs> right, it, made him, it made him worse. <laughs> oh God, yeah, yeah, from the first movie. Oh yeah, 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 like, yeah like the red, like you no know, crusty the crown look, look, look looking hair, didn't he? Yeah, I'm not sure what that was when they showed him at the end, the, the teaser mm. on, after the first part. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, well, this is. This has been fun, guys. Like, like if anyone is just just tuning in or staying with us, say so thank you very much for 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 sticking with us. Like, we've had a had a great conversation about like you know the latest um uh, uh Blue Beetle movie, some like some some so social media talk. And now we're now we're leading into more like you know like you know um, which one's better, M MCU or DCU or what do you want to call it? 
Uh, but this has been great. Like, you know, it's just a, to just throw it out there. Just we're, we're getting, getting towards like, you know, the, the, the halfway point of this show is, uh, so this has been a uh, webby when Wednesday's episode 36. So we just, uh, came, came to the realization we've been doing these spaces for just over nine months now. So a uh, big, big, big achievement, big, big milestone for us. And just want to say a big, big thank you for everyone who continues to, to tune in and come back or new faces that, that, that come in for the first time. Or just, I uh, want to say a big thank you to everybody. And, um, yeah, really, really appreciate the, the support. Also, before I forget as well, I want to say a big, big thank you to um, uh, Hinano and Dee. Um, on their last uh, episode of uh, Chill and Chill, um, they gave uh, all the, uh, the, the, the content creators a massive shout out, um, myself being one of them. And um, yeah, I just want to say a, a, a big thank you as well. Well, I just got to say um, it wasn't all of them. It was just mainly the, the ones that we um, visit a lot and we really like um but there's like tons out there oh yeah oh well, a big shout out to everybody uh how about we uh how about we switch it up a little bit and say um how about we uh throw a bit of bit, bit, bit of vv talk in there now say so who's going for the uh for, for the comic book drop uh today x uh, uncanny x-men number three which is the first appearance of blob um no. No, no takers. I I might get one in the aftermarket. <laughs> Maybe the ultra rare looks nice. It does, yeah. Our ultra rare cover is done by Will Will Slyly and Idris Silva. Anytime they do a cover, I like it. So, mm. but how many how many of these things can I go for with my limited budget? That's exactly. That's it. Super, well, super super selective. Yeah, same. Well, right now this one is a, uh, a list price of six ninety nine. It's a six six uh, thousand total edition comic, and uh, yeah, uh, apparently this one's got some pretty good um in in real life value to it. I think um a nine point eight or something something like that according to Go Go Collect went somewhere around well, like sixteen k or something like that. Let me see if I can find it. What you call it? Um, yeah, this one um. This one, I um, I'm I'm probably gonna uh, go for one of them. Uh, typically, a lot of them I'll just get off secondary, but this one I'll probably mm. go for one of them. Um, just you know, for trying to get one of the um, the variants mm. covers, because um, I do like kind of like getting the variants of um, of certain characters, like first appearance characters. But um, yeah, yeah, I might, I might. Um, Go for one of these and and see. Well, what variant do you normally go for? Emoji. Um, both the ultra rares and the rares. Oh, okay, got it. The the VV variants, like the exclusive ones. Hmm. Yeah. Same. <clears throat> okay. Here we go. According to uh, Go Collect, a nine point six grade is was last uh, done at yeah uh, nineteen thousand yeah not nineteen and a half k. That's uh, eight on the census, four sales. So looks like it's got a little bit of um, in real life value to it. So if that's something you're you're interested in, you want to pay attention to, um, that one's there. Also, um, a big big shout out to Doctor Strange as well. I believe he just dropped a um a, another stack and slack video about it as well, which I, I haven't seen personally myself, but um that's always a good uh good source of information if uh, if you're looking to go for it or not. So a uh, big big shout out to him. But uh, me, me, me personally, I'm I'm the same with Dino. I've I've got a very limited budget, and I probably won't be going going for it either. Um, me personally, I, I haven't been going for anything lately because I've had uh, other in other life commitments, having uh, two small small kids that decide to soak up all my money, and also getting close to Christmas. <laughs> but yeah, but let's have a look. what else? Speaking, what else? Yeah, go on, mate. Speculation on what we think they're going to be coming out with for the the run-up to christmas because I, I feel like the last two years they've had a ton of drops mm. obviously like a lot of christmas themed drops but any speculation if we get anything significant well i don't know i mean like well let's see what what have we got in the pipeline at the moment we've got um some stamps uh we've got the mar the, the the thanos um marvel mighty helicopter that, that was kind of cool I, re I reckon I would just I would just buy one just so I can go get to the chopper. 
But uh, what's that going for? Because I haven't actually looked at the article yet. Okay. So the Thanos Chopper is uh, 25 gems. It's an ultra rare. And there is 1,800 editions. And apparently it's animated with sound. So that's kind of cool. You said, you said the Mighty? The... Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, this, yeah, it's, yeah, it's a Marvel Mighty's Thanos Chopper. Um, oh, which... Cool. Uh, which uh, just back going back to uh, to, to Loki season one, if you didn't notice, um, the Thanos chopper actually was crashed from crashed on the ground when uh, when Loki went uh, into the when he got uh, in, into Loki land, or I can't remember what it's called now. But yeah, um, as for speculation for Christmas stuff, well, what have we had in the past? We've had the polar bears, we've had snow globes, we've had the truck, um, we've had Deadpool, we've had to Groot. Uh, I don't know. It just seems like they can drop basically w whatever character they want and just stick a Christmas hat on it. Osman, don't forget, we uh, got the tease for the Star Wars drop, right? Oh, so yes. That, be a Star Wars yes, drop. yes. That That is true. That that was also what, one of my talking points as well. Is that, yeah, and it says, like, you know, um, what's it, making his return or something like that. So clearly um, there's, there's, there's going to be some more Star Wars drops. And there must be something along the lines of Return of the Jedi. But, um, yeah, what do you reckon, Mask? What do you reckon it could be? No, I, I yeah, I agree with you about the Return of the Jedi part because it's uh we're still celebrating the anniversary of Return of the Jedi, so it ends uh, this month, of course. I mean, in December, end of December. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't know. What do you? It, I see hyperspeed. Could it be the Millennial Falcon? Well, that's that's um a, a, a strong possibility. Um, if we do get the Millennium Falcon, that is definitely going to make um, make the market move a little bit. I thought that was debunked by Vivi uh, on, in the post. I thought I read oh, was it. Oh, I didn't yeah. see it. Yeah, I think they said that it's not that, but keep going. Well, let's see. What else could we get? Um, do, do you reckon? It, I think it's on. Ewoks. I think it's Ewoks. Ewoks. Well, if if um, MC has his way, it's probably Stormtroopers. But um, Ewoks would be cool. Little little bears running around. <laughs> Why would they say returning though? It's like something's coming back. Mm. Did they did they lose something? Like did they lose did they lose a license or something? Oh, I, I'm not sure. Um, I, don't I think it's, I think it's returning because of Return of the Jedi. Mm. Or maybe they do like a season two. Like, cause what what do they have from Return of the Jedi at the moment? We've had the Rancor. We've had um, uh, what else we've had? We've had Abra Akbar. Jabba. Had Jabba. Jabba. Yeah, I don't know. So, if anyone's got, got got any speculations, any any comments, whack them in the comments comments page, pin them to the post, or even come up and say say hi. Um, the the offer is always there. But I don't know. I guess we just got to wait for wait for more information. I'm um I'm I'm about to actually head out though because it is late by me. Uh, but I know you said you're midway through the show, but um, but yeah, man, I just want to thank you once again, thank you guys once again for for hosting this, and I hope everyone has a good night. Yeah, you too, Marcia. Th th thanks for coming up, and also before I forget as well, um, I forgot to say, um, uh, the uh, the the pictures you were posting of the uh, of your collections and pickups and, and been re lately have been awesome. Who me? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was you. Uh, was it you posting the, the posting pictures? Nah. No, I, I never post anything like no, not, no, not. Uh, um, emojis. Yeah, you're talking to emoji. What? Emoji. What happened? Happened? I was a, oh, so, I was a, oh, sorry, it's emoji. Oh, my, my bad. Sorry, my, 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 <laughs> because I run these spaces through blue stack. There's a bit of like a, a lag when it says like, you know, who's speaking, who's not. But my, my, my bad emoji. So, nah, but, um, okay, you good, right? You good. But yeah, no, but, but thank, thank you for coming up and speaking with us. I, I, I do appreciate it. Anytime, yeah, anytime. Thank through, you for man. thank you holding the space. Um, oh, my pleasure. Like I said, it's 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 you it's you guys, the listeners, and 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 everyone who speaks in the spaces of what what these things what they are. And as long as everyone keeps coming up and enjoying them, I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll try and keep holding them for as long as we can. Appreciate appreciate it, and congrats mm -hmm. on the, uh, on nine months too. But oh, um, thank you. I'm gonna head out. Peace, everyone. Thanks, emoji. No, it's thanks. Thanks, emoji. Okay. Take care, mate. The emoji. Thank you. So, well, that could have been awkward. <laughs> no, you're yeah, good, I man. You say mask. No. I heard you say mask, and I was going to say something. but No, I was going to say yeah, because, I like, my name, and I was like, yeah. Oh, 
which is which is uh, uh, according to my screen here it says like you know you're, you're speaking at the moment so i thought it was you so i was like whoops <laughs> my bad ladies and gentlemen <laughs> But um no um I I just want to say like yeah because I'm um, I'm pretty sure it was you like I'm um, posting up uh, pictures of like uh, the the Harry Potter Lego was that the one ah yes my wife Harry Potter yeah collection. yeah very very impressive I mean like I'm I'm not a massive Harry Potter fan but I I can appreciate it that actually started uh, I want to say two years ago so basically my wife of course when the Potter's movie came out she was in the theater we were in the theaters first day. And she goes on a repeat almost every other week of all the Twilight movies on the on the TV while she's working. She's okay. so she keeps watching. There's three movies where she keeps watching, and one of them is your favorite, by the way, Fifty Shades of Grey. Uh, oh, excellent! Because <laughs> that that's where you said you knew where the actress was from, right? But that was the first movie that you thought of. The other one is Twilight. Yeah. And the other one oh. was Harry Potter. Yeah, I won't lie. <laughs> and so I, uh, I was like, you know, and she's always, you know, there's times where she's stressed and all this, and and she has anxiety at times too. So I was like, one Christmas, I was like, I got an idea because she likes Harry Potter. I'm gonna get her these Legos, and I'm gonna start with the collector edition one. And it's just taking a life of its own. Like she, at twelve o'clock, when uh, Grin School, uh, uh, whatever you call it, the bank. Mm -hmm. uh popped up at 12 o'clock yep. midnight she was on trying to make sure that she acquired it so it's 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 yeah she started just collecting legos and building i wanted the avenger tower that dropped uh two weeks ago i didn't get it yet mm. but i really wanted that one and she's like well if you buy it i'll build it i'm like what no I she's just like wait what <laughs> no no no, no it, it's yeah she's uh it, she loves it and now she's looking at doing star wars Ah, nice. Yeah, I I used to have a massive um Lego collection back in the day as well. I like, you know before I came came to to England, I used to have um oh what do I have I used to have a B wing. I had um uh, Boba Fett Slave One, uh, all, all all sorts of cool stuff. Because like, I used to be a big uh, big big back a uh, big Lego builder back in the day, but uh, unfortunately I had to sell sell a lot of it so I could come over here come over here and live in England. But um, yeah, I mean, I I find something quite therapeutical about putting a Lego together. Just like you know, the fact you can sit down, like you know, just put it all together, follow the instructions. A little frustrating at times when you find that one piece that you, you put it all together and you have that one or two pieces left over, and you're like, now where the hell does that go? Oh yeah, oh yeah, I hear it over there. But no, no, she uh, she she kills it. She does everything fast now uh but yeah no me i'm more in the hot toys and all that stuff so i just got for i know tells is gonna love this one uh the val kilmer batman <laughs> from the batman forever movie which was one of the most awful ones in my opinion oh, yeah. I, I do like the figure though i do like the figure and it was on discount so hell yeah <laughs> yeah right yeah but val kilmer's batman well that's, that's, that's another one i've seen for a long time with uh, Tommy Lee Jones's Two Face and Jim Carrey's Riddler, Nicole Kidman. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. but at least at least they didn't have nipples on the bat suit. It does have nipples on the bat. Oh, it does. It does. Oh yeah, yeah. I got to take a picture I... when I take it out of the box. I'm oh trying man, get, I'm trying to get this place up. No, it has the bat nips. Oh god. <laughs> ah, very cool. All right, guys. Well, I mean, it's coming up on uh, on five thirty here in the morning here in the UK, so we've got about half an hour left for us. We've got to start wrapping things up because uh, around uh, that in about half an hour's time from now, now is when my kids decide to wake up and start uh, demanding breakfast. But um, I always like to op open the stage up for anyone who might have been listening in the background and wants to come up and say hi or a few words. By by all means, please do so. Like I said before, it's a safe space, and we appreciate every, everybody coming up and sharing their points of view. Um, so far, big, big big thank you to everyone who's been speaking so far. We've had some great great conversations about. Um, Blue Beetle, say uh, film film trailers, the the upcoming uh, DC universe, Marvel's Marvel's universe, and just a, a nice little uh, geek out session. It's been great. Yeah, let me just check my talking points here. What else have we got? So we covered. So what have we covered? We covered the Simpsons, Star Wars. Now, does anyone else have any? And, does anyone else have anything they they want to talk about, or has anyone picked up anything good lately in the market? 
Um, not too much. The last thing I picked up was um, the comic number two ninety nine on BV. Oh yeah, that's the um the the, the uh, cameo of Venom. No, yeah. two ninety nine. Yeah, two ninety nine. That's one. Yeah, I uh, pressed my luck, hoping for an SR, and I got a common. Um, so yeah. Um, other than that, haven't really picked up anything else. Um, in a long time. Hmm. Uh, yeah. Not too much happening on my side. <laughs> yeah. What are you? Yeah. Go. Go on, Tony. Just been keeping some dry powder aside. Probably be another gem squeeze if we get anything mm. good around Christmas. Yep. Uh, and then yeah, yep. like I, I saw another four-digit Sam Wilson for like four bucks today, so I picked that up. But other than that, just just waiting. Yep. So how how many Sam Wilsons are you up to now? I think I have 45. Wow. I wonder if that makes you like a, a Sam, Sam Wilson whale. <laughs> no, there's, there's people out there with hundreds of stuff. But I, it's big for me. It's a big stack for me. But uh, yeah, I'm, I've seen some people stack, especially like Silicon back in the day. Uh, there's, there's guys with like crazy amounts of things. He had more Todd's than I had Sam Wilson's and Sam Wilson's yeah. was like four bucks. But yeah, every time they come out with a mighty, I'm happy because that just makes the first season even more substantiated. So mm. I'm just, so, yeah, just, so, I like it because it's cheap enough where it's not going to, not going right. to harm my wallet, you know? <laughs> yeah. 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 I, I, I'm with you on that one. What do you think about the, um the, the, the helicopter being a, a Marvel mighty? I mean, I, I didn't even know if Thanos had a helicopter, so shame on me. But I think it's cool that they're doing vehicles. Like, we had the chimichanga truck. Now we got the helicopter. Mm. You know, I think it, it'll be cool, the fact that it's animated. And, uh, yeah, we started getting animated Mar uh, Mighties. I think that's that's pretty cool. So, I mean, I like that it's something pretty new. And, yeah, it, it looks pretty good in, in terms of a Mighty. Yeah, like I don't think I'm going to go for it, but at least they're coming. Like it's always nice to see when they revisit a collection and they come out with something. Mm. Um, kind of off subject, but I just yep. noticed um, Trombo changed his uh, PFP. <clears throat> Looks pretty cool, man. Yeah, I see a lot of um, uh, Jay's uh, uh, profile pictures are popping up all over the place. Well, I think so. Now I see him as the Deadpool Mighty or the X Men Deadpool Mighty with one of those little cats. Is that Goose? Yeah, yeah, it's Goose and the not the crayons, the pencils, stamps. Yeah, mm -hmm. I just saw that. I was like, oh, that's so cool. Yeah, that's creative, man. I like it. Yeah, but in saying that as well, like now, now that everyone's like, you know, change all their like, you know, their profile pictures around. Like, it's like hard, like, to sort of spot people because they actually have to like read their names, like, because like, there's so many times I've just like looked at like people's profile pictures. Oh yeah, I know who that is. But now that everyone's like started swapping them around, like, you really have to sort of pay attention. Like, who's that? Oh wait, I'm, 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 I, I, I remember you. <laughs> yeah, dude, I had that same issue when I saw all the PFPs changing. I was like, God damn it! So yeah, I had, I actually had to like click on the name to see who it was have you guys uh have you guys checked out bing because i i just started doing it uh after casual mentioned something and like man it, it's it's pretty cool it's it's fun i mean no <clears throat> no me, me me personally i haven't tried any of the the, the bing or or uh, mid journey or any of that sort of stuff i tried it once like a while back but i was just just couldn't get a, get a handle on it because you have to be very sort of um, specific with uh, like what you type into it, don't you? Because always you get all sorts of random stuff. Well, but I think Bing Bing is a lot easier. Just in my experience, it is a lot easier to use than the Mid Journey was. Um, and you know, I typed in like you know Spider Man, Batman shaking hands, and they came up with some really cool stuff, and it looks really accurate. So. It gets a lot easier to use than the mid journey was. 
And I'm clearly Jay East and Casual will know what they're doing in terms of prompts. But if you play around with it for a bit, I mean, it, it was encouraging right away. Like I typed in a couple just very simple prompts and I was like, oh man, I already like at least one or two of the four images they give me. Mm. And so it, like, it's very, very promising if you just mess around with it for a few minutes. Yeah, what what are you mask or and I know you, you you play with them play with Bing at all and, and or try doing like the the uh the 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 creative AI stuff? Oh uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh go oh, ahead, sorry. Mask. I thought you said mask. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was reading something. No, 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 so, no, you're good. Yeah, yeah, no, no. I, I've used Bing a few times. Uh it's kind of just like you feeding you're feeding the algorithm data, right? So you have to put it to a certain parameter. But I made a couple cool images. I was going to send you one, Oz, but I don't didn't want to really share it on X. Um, but yeah, I made some cool images with Bing, asked it a few questions. Um, I still prefer to create stuff manually. Um, mm. Maybe I'm a bonehead, mm. but yeah, um, I, I still like to create things on my own. But it's mm. an easy program, like Dino said. It's really easy to use in mid-journey. Yeah, I, I, I'm the same. Like, you know, I, I enjoy creating stuff like on like Canva or something like that. Like, you know, because I've got like, a, I've actually a little bit better because I, I try and like all like the uh, the the profile pictures, uh, not profile pictures, the um, thumbnails for um, relax and read. Oh, actually, which I've got the next one coming up. The next uh, relax and read coming up Friday, I will be doing. Uh, Am I the only one that can't hear anybody? I'm back. Oh, I thought I rugged. I'm back. Can you hear me? I thought it was me. Yeah. Did you get a phone call, Osman? No, I got rugged. I, I got rugged. <laughs> so my my, my system my system <laughs> kicked me out, but I'm back now. So do I sound alright? Is 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 my audio okay? Yeah, you're all right. okay now. Good. Just because last time that happened, my audio went all crackly. So I just got to check. All right. Sorry about that, everybody. Um, I'm not sure where, where I got up to. Um, I was saying yes. I I enjoy creating stuff as well. Um, I. Um, normally use just Canva, but, um, I use it to create like all the thumbnails for like webby, um, weekends and, um, relax and read. And I was saying, be, I was about to say the, the next relax and read coming uh, this Friday will be the Spider-Man number two, uh, Spider-Man 299 or 2099, which is the uh, first appearance of Spider-Man 2099. So, um, Ooh. yes. So that, oh. that's coming Friday. That'll be about uh, midday uh, Pacific Standard Time or about 8 o'clock at night, uh, Friday night, for UK listeners. So I thought um, Hinano might like that one because I know you do own the, uh, the, the physical copy. Yes, he likes mm. that one. Thumbs up. I, I actually like 365 more, though, man, because to me that's the FAA. But, yeah, I do like 2999 as well. Oh, there you go. Well, maybe if we get that one on Vivi like somewhere in the future, I'll, re I'll read that one. <laughs> but, yeah, very cool. Oh, a uh, little bit off topic. Yeah, mate. Uh, just only because I started seeing the reviews that started coming in. Uh, you had the early screening today in some places, but Godzilla minus one. Have you guys checked out the reviews for that movie so far? Was it cool? Go, go, Godzilla minus one. Right, it was filmed in Japan. Oh, okay, no. So it's basically it's people are in the U.S. They had an early screening uh, tonight, and uh, the reviews for it leading up to the early screening was that people uh, that. You know, the reviews were that this may be an amazing movie. And right now, Twitter is going crazy with it. It's literally people are saying not just the best Godzilla movie, but probably movie of the year. And it only took 15 million to make. What's cool? Godzilla plus one. Minus oh, one. minus one. Minus one. So I'm just, just looking at right now because I don't know anything about it. Uh, okay. Godzilla minus one. I'm um, I mean, the, the the only only Godzilla um, bit of information I, I've got at the moment is I've recently just started watching that Monarch, the Legacy of Monsters, on uh, on yes. uh, Apple Plus. Um, I've only watched the first episode, but so far it's off to a pretty strong start. 
Yep, I agree. Mm. I, I, I also like the way they sort of tied in um, Skull Island as well with King Kong at the very start. Yep. But, um, okay. Post War Japan's lowest point. Okay, well, I'll have to, I might have to look, look, look this one up. Yeah, look at this cussing film, what they, uh, what their title is after <laughs> watching the movie 42 minutes ago. No, right. So, oh, yeah. So I'll just have a quick, quick look at the trailer. New Rain. Oh, yeah. The animation's looking pretty good. It's unknown. Okay. Cool. So Godzilla minus one. I should have to check that one out. And it'll... 15 million budget compared to a 200,000 Marvel budget. Yeah, no, right. 15 million. And you said, well, the, the Marvel's budget was like two, 200,000 or, or 200,000 or 200 million? 200 million. 200 million. 200 million. 200 million. Yeah, I was about to say 200,000. Yeah, yeah. That sounds a little light. But um, yeah. Well, it, it, it just goes to show, like, you know, you don't don't have to spend, like, you know, it doesn't take, like, millions of millions of dollars to make, like, a, a really good movie. I mean, like, they've had movies in the past which have basically worked on, like, nothing. And they've just gone on to be, like, you no know, cult, cult successes or, like, cult favorites or something. Like, um, one that comes off the top of my head is uh, when they made um, uh, Paranormal Activity. So, which is uh, the, the the same sort of concept. It's a very, very, very basic concept. I think it only took, like, 15,000 15, Fifteen thousand dollars to make or something like that. They ended up pull, pulling in like millions and millions of dollars, and because it was a good movie, it was a good concept, and um, was well, it was scary. I think Blair Witch Project too did that. Mm. I mean, that was made with like a one of those home uh, handheld recorders that you could that anybody would have. And yeah, man, like you don't you don't need to spend hundreds of millions of dollars to have a good story and make a good movie. Mm. So I'm, I'm glad that movies like this are showing that because it's the same thing with business too. I mean, my brother and I, from the very start, we've tried to keep our overhead very low and not try to spend a ton of money on marketing and things like mm -hmm. that. Just start simple. You have a concept that, that people appreciate and you can go from there. And so it's good to see with the movies too. Um, I've seen that happened as well just during covid there were there were a lot of like um homemade type style movies and shows that were coming out and that, that were doing really well mm. and you didn't need a big hollywood budget or studio to to make them so that's it i i think that's sort of like where like you know um marvel's kind of like lacking at the moment is like their writers just the writing is just like really bad and also to, to, just on a little side note now, because I just read, I think uh, apparently they've um, cancelled season two of She-Hulk. If I've if I read that somewhere, I think that's uh, that's great, and, and that was another example of really really bad writing. Good move, in my opinion. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure um, uh, uh, Chris would be happy like not to see um, Daredevil uh, doing the the Walk of Shame for a second time. <laughs> But yeah, well, you master. Have you seen the the the, the first season of She Hulk? I did. I, I I saw it. Yeah. I mean, it's 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 the comic book. I mean, that's that's her character in the comic. Yeah. Remember, if you if you read Sensational She Hulk or uh, uh, any of those uh, She Hulks that came on later, you have where she breaks the fourth wall, mm -hmm. where they have her doing jump rope naked in the comic. Of course, you don't see new parts. But, yeah, I mean, they, they there's a character that they've always played with in the comics. So I didn't have a problem with the show. Uh, okay. So you thought it was, like, quite quite faithful to the to the, to the comic representation? Yeah, because they it's, it's, it's one that they've always had fun with as far as with uh, just breaking the fourth mm -hmm. wall and with the audience. Yeah, there's never a character that they took serious. Oh, okay, so that's what it makes me wonder because yeah, I I never knew her from the the comics, and so just as a more casual fan, I'm just wondering like if if some of these characters and stories aren't translating to the big screen, or is it just more of a niche thing? I'm just like wondering why the MCU is kind of 
it's just to me in my opinion it seems like it's struggling right now but again like for me i mean I, yeah i grew up as a casual fan and i and I never was a, a major fan, but then once Phoebe came out, I caught up on all the MCU and all the way up into uh, Infinity War. I was just like, man, this mm. is amazing. And then I just feel like we're in a lull right now, but I love to hear that they're being true to the the, the character and everything. Um, but for people who don't know the comic, then maybe it's just kind of going over their heads. And I mm. think that's probably what's happening with me. Yeah, maybe it just didn't, didn't get translated very well because, like, people uh, don't know that in the comic books that how that's how she's supposed to be. But but the same thing with Iron Man. I I never knew him from the comic books. I honestly like, and this just shows how out of the loop I was. I never heard of Iron Man before the MCU brought him, but that movie blew me away. Mm. And so, yeah, like, I, it's just sometimes characters don't translate well, or I don't know. I don't know what it is. Mm. Well, I mean that, that that's I mean you also got Robert Downey Jr. as well. So, I mean it it was a combination of things. You you cuz all right, so She-Hulk was a character that was introduced in the Bronze Age. She really didn't have a big run. She may have had a big run when she started, but it wasn't really like like I mean Iron Man's been around since the Silver Age and his his uh legacy number is probably in the 600s if 700s or something like that as far as comic goes. So you got years of history and you have a fan base there, but they nailed it with the casting of Robert Downey Jr. And that, and I think that was the big, big part. Like for me, I think they nailed the casting of Miss Marvel. And I think Miss Marvel's casting is literally the same as, RD, as Robert Downey Jr. Only because she is actually a fan of that character before when she, before she even got the job. Like that was when she was a kid. She, he liked Miss Marvel. Okay. So it's, and you can see it in the performance and the way she acts. That she, mm. She's truly having fun out there. Yeah, you, you, you're talking about um, Kamala Khan, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So again, that's that, that's one I still haven't watched either. It was a new Marvels movie, but um, I mean, I, I did really enjoy the the TV show, the Marvel, um, Miss Marvel. I thought, uh, yeah, it was a uh, it was a really really light light hearted, fun, and um, had that nice little uh, X Men teaser at the very end of it. Yeah, and I think the problem that you have is that the, these Marvel has two fan bases. They have the fan base that grew up with the comics and reads the comics, or even you know in, in the modern comics as well. And then you have the fan base that only watches the MCU and mm -hmm. doesn't read the comics. And so they they grew up with Iron Man, Captain America, uh, Spider Man, and you know the main Thor, Doctor Strange, as yeah. far as the MCU goes. And even the Guardians, they said that the Guardians, that was a group that not many people knew, even in the comic world, but they loved the movies. Mm. So this is this is who they want to see. Now you're introducing characters that are in comic books, like Ms. Marvel, like America Chavez. So if you haven't been reading comics in the last 15, 20 years, there's some of these characters you've never heard of before. And we've lost a lot of collectors in the 90s when comics was around. Mm. A lot of collectors left the hobby in the nineties. It was when the whole spec market blew up. People grew up because you know I was a kid. we were kids then. <laughs> we got a job. We started working. Life happened. We forgot comics. We forgot toys. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, we have adult money. Now we're back in comics. We're back in toys, right? Uh, but there's characters that came in like Miles, like Kamala, America Chavez, Kate Bishop, yeah, and people, and they had a fan base. But the MCU fan base is so much bigger than the comic fan base, audience-wise. Because you're seeing, like, the new comic books are struggling to sell today. You know, you don't see, like, back in the 90s, you had comic books that had million-dollar sales. I mean, million copies sold. Now you're seeing the biggest number is 50000 or mm. less, or 35000 so it's, it's kind of like if you want to keep making blockbuster movies, you're going to have to find a way to get an Iron Man back on on the screen. Yeah. You're going to have to find a way to get, uh, you know, continue having a Spider-Man on the screen mm. well, hopefully, while introducing new characters. Yeah, well, hopefully they can do that with the um, coming uh, Secret Wars movie. Yeah. Well, we, and, and think about it. Look at the, look at the way they introduced... Uh, characters before and that might be the other way right to keep that formula because 
you you were not introduced to Black Widow until Iron Man two. That's right. Yeah. So some of these characters you didn't know until you saw an Iron Man movie. Whereas Kamala Khan, you know her because of the TV show. So she already had an introduction. Exactly. And a lot of people, and that was one of the lowest watched shows. Okay. So it, it, it so it's it, you're having you're introducing characters in shows and movies and people are not watching it. Mm. Or do you think is or, or do you think is the fact they took like you know their time actually like introducing each character over the course of what I think it was like ten years before we got to um to Avengers or something like that. So that way they get like established, everyone gets familiar with them, and then that's when they throw them in. Like you know, the, we do Avengers, throw them all together, and that's what sparks everything. And everyone's like, "Oh my god, this is amazing!" Well, I mean, that's, that's the formula that was working. I won't say the Avengers, but like in other superhero movies, like mm. you, Bucky Barnes, you, you met him in Captain America. You you met Winter Soldier in a Captain America movie. That's right. You met um, Hawkeye in um, in Thor. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. That that was the formula that was working for them, in introducing side characters. And they just started bringing out side characters in as a major character in shows and movies. Mm. And that, and, and if you ever watch Secret Invasion, I think that, to me, that was like the absolute worst thing in the world. Yep. I think everyone's agreed, agreed on that one. <laughs> <laughs> it had nothing to do with the comic book. I don't know what audience they were going for on that one. Yeah, no, maybe that was just like they're just trying trying something new, see if it's see if it's stuck, but uh, or maybe just uh, give trying to give a reason to bring uh, Samuel Samuel Jackson back for a bit of Nick Fury action. I don't know, but yeah, the um that that show uh, definitely they definitely dropped the ball on that one. Well, I mean, they they told the writer do and the director do not read the comic book. Oh, did they now? Yeah, yeah. Well, maybe maybe they should have read the comic book first. <laughs> maybe they shouldn't have done it. Period. I think well, it yeah, been, that was that was bad. But again, and that happens sometimes, right? This is not the first time that Marvel takes a title of a comic book or a series of comic books, and it's something else. Uh, Civil War was one of those movies, right? And and that's another one. Mm -hmm. They introduced Black Panther in Civil War. That's true. Yeah, and Spider Man. I, well, I mean, we we knew Spider Man, but yeah, no, yeah, 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 <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, but um, they, they introduced a new character that, that no one at the time was familiar with, and it was a good character too, and it was like a great way to in introduce him, and yeah, that really sort of like sparked a, like you know Black Panther as being like you know a real sort of badass character. Yeah, so I, I think that's the formula they need to go back to, mm. in my opinion. Yeah, no, I I completely agree. I reckon they should do it too. So, so what's next in the pipeline? We've got um Echo, I believe, is the next uh, Marvel-based uh, TV show. Maybe, hopefully, they'll introduce some, something in that. Yeah, I'm actually looking forward to it. Uh, the trailer, I, I love the trailer. It looks it looks like it's going back to dark, gritty Netflix type vibes mm. I got from it. Hopefully, it it's in that it doesn't. Hopefully, it's not a catfish. Yeah, yeah. I hope it's just not like a horrible, like little little filler for something for something else until we get like you know Daredevil. Yeah, the only thing that worries me is that they're releasing all the all the episodes in one uh, as a Netflix. Oh, are they now? So you get to yeah, you get to stream it. Okay, uh, that'd be interesting. Uh, what about Dino Hinano? Do you got anything you want to add to the, to the conversation? Are you are you looking forward to Echo? It's very unfortunate, but I haven't heard Mask. Um, I I was hearing you talk, but I wasn't hearing Mask. Um, so I don't know what I can do to fix that. But oh, okay. In in regards to Echo, oh, uh, let me step down. I don't know if I'm gonna watch it, but I did like Hawkeye a lot, like that show. And just to kind of touch on, you know, I've been introduced to new characters like Miles Morales and and Kate Bishop and. I love those characters now and I never, never knew them, um, only knew them through like literally Kate Bishop was from the show, Miles Morales from the movie. Um, and now I just love those characters. So it, it can be done uh, for me, but yeah, sometimes it just doesn't translate, but mm. yeah, I, as far as echo goes, uh, I think that's the, she was the lady from Hawkeye. Right. And it's, it's going to be about her. That's right. Yeah. And that was, with um 
Kingpin. That's right. Yeah, the the one that didn't speak. Right. Okay. Cool. Okay. Yeah. I mean, so, I, I hope they do a good job with it and set set up more for uh, the future. Mm, Cause this is supposed to be um uh, what the Marvel's basically calling this like the, the showcase like sort of series where it's sort of like more like character and more like ca- character driven, if I remember right. Yeah, and she had I mean she did her character intrigued me because I, I wanted to know they did a couple flashbacks about her past and how Kingpin mm. uh took her under the wing and her, I think her dad dying or something. But um yeah, so I was always intrigued about her. So I think that that'll be cool to do a, a deeper dive on that and yeah and introduce a new character to to the public you know because mm. when's that scheduled for i think that's scheduled for january of next year if i remember right serious premiere yeah Jan- so that's that's scheduled for january 10th of 2024 so it's not ridiculously far away Yeah, we can binge watch all the episodes in uh, one uh, in one day. Yep, and then we'll be back to back to square one because what I don't think there's anything after Echo, is there? I think that that they haven't really announced anything. Uh, this uh, what if? Oh, but I think what I, I think I think what if is actually before before Echo because I think what if comes out twenty uh, second of December off the top of my head. So we get what if first, and then we binge watch that, and then we get Echo, and then I think there's going to be I don't know what comes after Echo. I think we're going to see a lot of Star Wars content next uh, next year. Oh yeah, it's about four Star Wars shows. Uh, two of them, or one of them, is animation, which is uh, Bad Batch uh, season three. Oh yeah, uh, nice. Supposed- yeah, and then and three more shows, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, because one of them I think is um, oh, is it like Skeleton Crew or something like that? I think that's one that was. Yeah, in the- Skeleton Crew, uh, and then you have the second season of uh, Andor. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! And what- that's going to be towards the end of the year. Mm. What did you think of Andor? Oh, uh, Rogue One is my favorite uh, Star Wars. It's not the first one, two, and three, even though Empire was my first love. Mm-hmm. But Rogue One to me was my favorite. Like that's 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 my favorite movie right there. So mm. Andor to me, I enjoy. I I really love Andor. Yeah, I thought it, I thought it was just like, but like everyone like sort of gave it like a bit of a bashing because like you know it wasn't like you know your traditional Star Wars like you know lightsabers, space battles, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I just thought it was just it was a different flavor of Star Wars. Like it was more like you know spycraft, sub subterfuge, all that sort of stuff. Yep, I think that's probably why I loved it more. It's because mm. it was, because the in the first movie, you always they always refer to the rebels that fought and uh, risked their lives, but you you never knew about it. But that movie, the casting was perfect in my opinion, and the the whole movie, just the the flow of the movie was great. Oh yeah, definitely. Like, especially like um, uh, was it uh, Don uh, Don Yen as the as the blind Jedi? I thought he was he was great. Especially that scene, like you know, where they're sort of taking him off to see um Saw Gerrera and they put the put the bag over his head. And he just goes, "I'm blind, you idiots!" <laughs> <laughs> yes, and then you bring him back as a blind man in John Wick Three. I know. Is that amazing or what? I was just like, what? I was just like, it, it has he been like typecast as like the blind, like you know, like blind fury, like Ruka Haya type like sort of person or something? I know. What, what, what's going on? Oh no, no, it's uh, it's yeah. You know, it's, it's uh, Hot Toys actually released their uh, John Wick figure, and they have his. It, it looks so good. I can't wait. Of course, it's going to take a year for that to be shipped, but I can't wait for that to arrive. Mm. But yeah, but, but no, I, no, it's, it, it's it, Andor. I think to I, I loved it. I my wife didn't like the first. Uh, I want to say three or four episodes, and then it, she loved it after that. That the whole prison uh, scene, and then from there on, that's when she really it it, it hit for her. Oh yeah. Especially at the end, like, you know, it was kind of sad, like, you know, everyone's, like, making their break for it, and, like, you know, Andy Serkis is there going, I can't come, and he's like, why? Because I can't swim. <laughs> that crazy or what? I know. <laughs> that, that, that's kind of sad. <laughs> yeah, but I, I enjoyed it. I think they did a good job with it. Mm. I know a lot of people didn't like Ahsoka, and, and I think that, that Ahsoka was a show that was, like, catered to people that watched Rebels. 
Yeah, I mean, like me, me, me personally, I know I, I watched all of Rebels before I watched Ahsoka. I've, I've, I finished Ahsoka now. Um, I thought, yeah, the the visuals are like amazing. I mean, like it's just going going back, like into you know, like the days of like you know New Hope and Empire Strikes Back. Like you know, visual wise, like you know, it's just amazing. Like some of the space battles, are just like awesome. Um, but the, the 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 thing I liked about the very end, like in the last episode, like you know, we got space zombies, we got space zombies, some um, stormtroopers. I was like, we're getting it's like a, a Star Wars slash um Walking Dead moment. Yes, but you had you had uh, zombies in the old uh, Legends uh, co- uh, comics. Oh, okay. The dark Horse. Yeah, the, they had uh, zombies there. The dark uh, troopers. Uh, death troopers. That's what they were. Ah, okay. But, but they, they they have the same problem that 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 Marvel has right now, right? And then that's the other part that goes back to Marvel in both I think in movies and comics too. And that issue is if somebody comes to me today and tells me, Hey, where should I start reading Spider Man if I wanna know the characters and the villains and everything, like mm-hmm. the main ones? And it's like, uh <laughs> you might have to read like sixty years of comics yeah, to a, understand a... Spider Man. And, and, and the same thing with the movies is how can I understand a show like Ahsoka? Well, you got to go watch uh, Rebels. Mm. Yeah, but there's this scene about Clone Wars. Okay, then you may have to watch 200 episodes. That's of right. Clone yeah, Wars. that's the problem, isn't it? Because like there's elements of Clone Wars that sort of like got like weaved into there, like you know about what happened like on Mandalore and the Persia and Mandalore, and then like you know the back backstory, like who who is Ezra, like you know what what happened to him and why why is Thorn like been exiled and what are space whales <laughs> all, yeah, that sort of, it, all that sort of it's stuff just too much it's too much for new people to come in and say it it it, it doesn't it, it does a service for those that have watched all those animated shows but a disservice for new people jumping in that have never watched it so it's it's kind of hard like a thin line they're trying to struggle with yeah i'm sure i'm sure sure we'll get there in the end and, and i'm i'm excited to see like you know where the next lot of um uh tv shows go i mean i i i I'd probably pick up maybe bad batch might be the next one i, I sort of pick up oh yeah i like bad batch yeah and i, I didn't realize as well very good yeah i didn't realize as well i like, can you know in that very first episode um uh the the young the young jedi is actually the one from um from rebels yeah it's <laughs> it's a bit tricky because it's when I was watching Clone Wars, because I was one of those that only watched the first three and the, 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 only the, the movies that were out in the theater. Mm-hmm. So I never watched any of the animation. Uh, so I started watching all the animation and the same time that season two of Bad Batch dropped. So when I did the whole timeline, so I did everything mixed into one. I did all the theaters mixed in with the animation. So it, it kind of messed me up because season two of Bad Batch goes back to uh episode three <laughs> After oh really episode three but then if you if you saw clone if you saw rebels you already passed episode uh, yeah it's mm. a cluster yeah right <laughs> yeah I'm, and now i'm going through that with my daughter so my daughter has been oh, coming nice. here for thanksgiving and she's coming back for christmas and staying for about a month with us so we're gonna watch the rest so we already watched the first two seasons of clone wars so now we're going to watch the rest of clone wars and she actually enjoys it uh excellent i mean i I, i'm starting to do that like um a similar thing with my my kids as well especially my son now he's coming up on five so he's actually starting to develop an appreciation for for um like marvel and dc and all that sort of stuff like we actually i actually sat down because i've just started streaming the um the um batman animated the the batman animated series on netflix and I actually sat sat my kids down. They watched the first episode of that the other day, and they they loved it. They thought it was a bit scary, like you know, having man bat flying around everywhere. But um, they 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 really enjoyed it. So that was kind of like a little proud uh, proud daddy moment for me. Oh no, I, I can't wait for her to get through with Clone Wars and then watch Rebels and then watch the Ahsoka series because when when they show that Clone Wars scene, I know when my wife oh saw yeah it, yeah she she liked it. Because it was Anakin and Ahsoka, but she doesn't really know Ahsoka well, but Anakin was there, right? So mm. she got to see that part. So she was like, oh, this is cool. But to me, it was like, this is bad fucking ass. Yeah, because, yeah, yeah. And excuse my language, but it was. Yeah, go for it. Oh my God, this, here it is. You know, they get to me face to face. And then you see the Clone Wars and 
And then you get to see when he turns into uh, Dark Side Anakin, uh, you see the eyes get mm, all red. That's it. And, and then you see Captain Rex in the back in one of the scenes. You're like, oh, it's Captain Rex over there. And of course, it's a character that you only know from the Clone Wars. Mm -hmm. So because you got to see all that, it, for me, it was 10 times better than it was for her when those scenes were happening. Mm. And of course, to her, when she was like, Ahsoka didn't do shit this whole show. And it's like, yeah, because technically the show was Rebels. <laughs> mm. <laughs> New season. <laughs> Yeah. But no. Yeah. Yeah. It, I, I. I can't wait to get to that part where, where my daughter sees that. Yeah, wicked. All right, guys. Well, I gotta start wrapping up, wrapping the space up because I can hear my kids pat pittering about upstairs. Um, Hinano D, Dino, is there anything you wanna wanna add before I go start clo closing things up? Yeah. Thanks. Thanks, guys, for uh, joining us in the space. Sorry if I haven't been attentive, Oz. I've been doing all kinds of stuff, but I appreciate everyone. That's cool, man tuning in and uh look forward to everyone coming in to web b live that we'll have in a few couple weeks love you all all right thank you nano say um dino anything you want to leave us with i'm oh, just good chatting with you mask uh mahalo uh, it was good to hear from uh, moji and key collector and thanks for everybody who listened uh yeah excited for web v live episode two mm -hmm. uh hanano thank you for all the hard work that you're putting into that and uh yeah i just love the the content that's coming out of this community and yeah keeping each other warm in the bear market in the in the crypto winter uh this is really fun connecting with you guys so uh, another another good week thanks osman again for uh, your faithfulness to to making these spaces happen every single week so appreciate you guys no, thank you, and thank you for uh, for, for for coming and, and and being the co-host every week as well. So, I I I, I do appreciate it, and uh, yeah, can't can't do it without you, mate. You're you're an essential piece of uh, web web webby Wednesdays. And uh, D, so what about you? Uh, yeah, just wanted to say thanks for having this space once again, and um, I appreciate everyone that came up to speak. Um. I learned a lot more about DC. Um, mm. I love DC, but I didn't know all that. So, yeah, it's always nice to learn new things. Um, I hope everyone has a good rest of your night or uh, your morning. And, yeah, we'll see you guys again um, probably tomorrow, somewhere in some space. That's it. We'll catch you somewhere. <laughs> All right, Mask. Well, um, yeah, I just want to say uh, th thank you, Mask, for speaking. Uh, thank you to ev everyone else who spoke in the space uh, this evening, this night, the tonight, wherever you might be in the world. Um, I'll just do a quick, uh, quick uh, rundown of, of uh, big shout out. So, the, um, again, this has been a Web V Wednesdays episode thirty six. It's been uh, brought to you by the Web V Collective, which is uh, our collectors group, which sort of came together to form a safe space. We want to basically just have a nice big geek out, uh, geek out space where we talk about Marvel, DC, film. Um, whether it be a chosen platform of uh, VV, Cryptoys, McFarlane, basically just uh, all, all for the, the, the di digital collecting space. And uh, yeah, just somewhere we just all, all uh, come together and just, uh, just share our, um, our love of it with our like minded individuals, where we uh, collect and connect, as we like to say on the, uh, on, on, in the WebV Collective. And uh, I'll just do a quick, quick rundown and just give our, our members a quick shout out. So some of our members are the Real Uncommon Podcast with Hinano and D. We've got My Collectibles, K Collect Collections, Evolve Collects. EO, I still see you listening there in the background, mate. Um, got Collectors Gone Digital, which is uh, Josh, who are formerly of VV Investments. Uh, Double Quill and Chris Severs with their uh, with their blogs on uh, Go Collect and Medium. Uh, VV Arcade with his uh, show he does every Sunday and also does uh, the Chill Pill. And just uh, an awesome member of the community with his artwork as well. Um, uh, da -da 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 -da. We've got D Dr. Strange of All Things Strange with his Stack and Slack videos and... Um, uh, all the other content that he puts out there, very, very cool guy and always and always a great influence in the space. Uh, the Biggest Bro with uh, The Bare Minimum, who uh, he does his uh, live streaming occasionally. We've got uh, Shawnee Poo with uh, Shawnee Poo Tube. Uh, always, a, always a bundle of energy, that, that guy. Um, Informant, B.E. and Mo uh, with Skin and Bones. Um, I believe they just did an awesome uh, interview with uh, Michael Camper over on their channel, so definitely check that one out. And uh, Mr. Falcon with uh, Watching Films on the Toilet, which is his podcast he does on Spotify with uh, his co-host Eamon, where uh, he does uh, film reviews, which I believe the last one he did was uh, The Killers. And, and of course, last one for myself, Mr. Osman Collect 63 with uh, Relax and Read uh, every Friday. 
to basically uh, choose choose a comic book on on VV and uh, and uh, basically I, I read it. And so we go go through it, check out some of the interior artwork, and talk about it. And uh, this coming Friday is going to be uh, Spider Man two uh, two thousand ninety nine number one. So um, stay tuned for that because that'll be uh, posted on the X Spaces. Whoop, okay, the kids are kids are on their way, so I better better wrap this up. So again, um, been a uh, web Wednesday's episode thirty six. Um, please join me for relax and read on Friday, or if you can. Join me for uh, Webby Weekends, which is the the, the Sunday show, which is uh, from uh, 8.30 to uh, 10.30 UK time or 12.30 to 2.30 Pacific Standard Time. And uh, again, big big thank you for everyone who spoke, everyone who's still listening, everyone who keeps coming back. It's uh, you guys who make these spaces what they are. Uh, Big thank you to Dino for for co-hosting as always. And um, take care, guys. Have a good one. And um, I will speak more with you soon. See you later, everybody. Bye, everybody. Oh, Hidana's got, got his hand up before we leave. Oh, no, I was trying to wave bye, but I oh, put bye. the <laughs> yellow hand to wave. Yeah. See, see you later, everybody. <laughs> All right. Take care, everyone. And, um, yeah, stay tuned for Webby, um, Webby Live Season 2's Christmas special. There'll be more on the X-Space. So um, stay tuned for that. Take care. Have a good one. And catch you all later. Bye.